I really don't like them shits, bro. New room, who this? Oh, the yeah. uh, Prolon shits? Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that too. Nah, I was talking about the, the TikToks with leggings. That shit is annoying. Like it. It's mad misleading. They be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, they be doing a damn thing, though. I ain't gonna no, lie. Yeah. yeah, they be lying. That's what they be doing. <laughs> they, <laughs> they be doing lying. They doing their job. Mm -hmm. uh, it just depends on who has them. And the really? You think so? I feel like, yeah. Because it's like, if, if you see someone with it, like with those leggings on, and they, you know, they thick. It looks good. You know what I'm saying? No, they look thick. It lifts. That's the thing. Like, yeah. Because they're high waisted, so it, it, it covers it, it, this. It, like, it holds it, it down lifts, like, and then it lifts the butt. So it, it's the illusion. It, it do what it's supposed to do. Okay. I applaud them. It's lies. I mean, <laughs> a lot of like fashion trends, mainly for women, are lies. Mm. Damn. Mainly. Kind of true. Yeah, and you go to, I mean, for men too. Like, um, like what? So... All right, so I used you y'all know I used to work at J Crew, mm -hmm. so especially with suiting and stuff like that, there's wild tricks. Mm. So if you want to appear taller, you I, match I, your yeah, sock you to your me. pants. Yeah, makes you look mm -hmm. taller. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Just there's some like tricks, that. and even they, the tailor can also do some cheats too. Oh yeah, mm. uh, that's wavy. And then you that's know you get lifts in your shoes for men as far as like dress shoes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You wear something with a heel on it, like it's a slight heel, give you like half an inch. Mm -hmm. It's mad shit. And you know, like niggas be hat fishing, niggas yeah, a little weird a without thing. a hat. On. Yo, that be yo, that be funny. <laughs> so y'all know, yo, we here, with, we good. good. Hat, I have no man. hair. I mean, I would take it off. I was supposed to, but I forgot. So I got some yeah. hair, man. Yeah. And then there's some niggas that got hair and they they look cool, and then when they cut all their hair off, they look like a child. You know? mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's accurate. Yeah. We gonna put a poll up on the page, like <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put a poll up on the page, like does Nate look better with hair or without hair? Yo, why well, should go to hair? <laughs> I might vote hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, bro, I really do miss my hair, bro. It's all right, You'll it's all right bro. You could like caress it at night. You still got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you could caress it at night. It's in the ziplock bag. It's in the ziplock bag. Yeah, just like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm probably just gonna like I, I don't know what I'm doing with them shits. I just got them. But you gonna like make them into extensions or something? Nah, that that would defeat the purpose of cutting them. You know what I'm saying? Like all that energy and shit stored in there, and I'm doing that. Nah. I Remember that episode of SpongeBob where like he made the sweater for um Squidward out of his yeah. eyelashes? Yo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yo, <laughs> bring your shit to a tailor and you know make a scarf out of shit. Make, <laughs> make a scarf out of your dress. Yeah, might make like a little 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 tote bag. <laughs> Why you allow with the dread handle? With the dread handle. <laughs> <laughs> Double stranded, you know what I'm saying? Nah, uh yeah, I think it's stupid. Nah, but it was cool though. Like I feel lighter, you know, without hair. And I like the literal sense, but like no, just as a person, lighter and shit. So like freer, more free. I say. More so, like I let go of a lot of shit when I cut off my hair. Mm. So it's pretty cool. You know, women talk like that. They know what they're talking about. Mm. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I almost got canceled just now. <laughs> I had to save you. I was like, let me just. Nah, but uh. Yeah, bro. So it was cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yo, yo, happy yo. You said happy birthday to this guy? Oh, today's his birthday. I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Not because the party was tomorrow. So I nah, bro. It's happy today. Happy birthday. I'm sorry. Because I remember him dead saying, now nah, my birthday's on Thursday, but I'm celebrating on Friday and Saturday. Oh, I didn't know that. Dang. All right. So happy birthday. That's how you should see. Mans don't really be listening to you. So. Yeah, Booby don't have to really Wait, listen. Wait, time out. When you said this, though. Booby be in his own world. <laughs> Booby really be in his own world sometimes. I but I respect it. You know, you free thinker, you know. Yeah. Thank you. But when did you say this? <laughs> a couple times. I ain't gonna lie. It was a couple times. Was I there? It was in the chat. Yeah, bro. Right, I ain't gonna so, lie. Like, so there's receipts on this? Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. No, you got it. You got it. Hey, I man. apologize. Happy birthday once again. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's the 28th and you're 28? Fire. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, he sir. tried to save himself. He <laughs> right? said, look, I did that. That was it. <laughs> Nah, um, yo, I got a question. It's funny because I was just talking to Wolf mm -hmm. about it. Like, I think we kind of touched on a different uh, episode. I can't really remember, but um, how you feel about do you do you do y'all want to get married? I think about that every day, man. Like, I'm gonna get to you in a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna get to you in like five minutes. But go ahead. I, I think about it like if I want to or not. 
you know? Because mm. it's like, I mean, when I was growing up, I always thought about it, you know, like growing up in a two-parent household, it will be dope to be married. You know, that's the regular thing. But mm. then as I grew up, you know, going through certain relationships, it made me sit there and think, like, do we have to get married? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I kind of see it as more of a financial thing than it is for what it's supposed to be. So I'm just like, is there a point? What is it supposed to be, though? Because historically, marriage has always been about finances and preserving bloodlines. Mm. That's literally like the core of the shit from ye old times. Mm -hmm. I don't know, at some point it reached where it's just like, oh, we're we're getting married for love. But originally, <laughs> it's, it's originally basically what Leon said. Preserve, yeah, that's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. really preserve bloodlines and for financial purposes. Mm. Yeah. So do you want to get married? Um, to preserve bloodlines. <laughs> <laughs> I said this before. I was one of them kids. I grew up on like Disney movies and shit like that. And then my parents, like my biological parents, got divorced. But years later, my mom, and my stepfather, they met. Well, they met before that, but they got married. And you know, I've been growing up in a two parent household for a while now. So it's like I've I see. I've seen how it can go bad. I've seen how it goes well. Mm. It'd be nice to get married. Is it realistic? I don't know, because times is different. The world has been different. The The experiences that I have are different from the experiences that my stepfather's had. Even though, you know, a lot of shit, no matter what the generation, is still the same. But, like, with the presence of all this stuff as far as technology, availability, like... All this shit changes how we react and how we relate to people. I was having a conversation with um, my homegirl yesterday, and she was like, um, I need to start putting my red receipts on. Because the dude had like sent her a message and then double texted her like a, an hour later, like, oh, I, I just assume you ain't seen my message. So, da da da. So, I, I just like, commented no. on her, I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. My red receipts been on since Apple introduced that shit. It's worked well for me. Say <laughs> so if I read it and didn't respond. Oh, uh, then, then, then that's the answer right there. She was like, oh, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm like, you shouldn't, your feelings shouldn't be hurt because somebody didn't reply to you. Because the times have geared us to like this illusion of constant communication. Mm. You, do not Yo, have to, bro. you do not have to talk to somebody all day. That is. And bro. just because you message somebody doesn't mean they have to talk to you. I'm not Because you call somebody doesn't mean they have to pick up it doesn't mean there's beef it's just like yo sometimes people just don't want to talk and because communication has been has taken like st strides and leaps and bounds over the last like 10 20 years people are used to that shit so they feel like if i want to reach you and you don't want to be reached there's a problem when it really isn't mm -hmm. He got his thinking cap on he today. Do. You know what I'm saying? Mean, it's his birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah bro, bro. He, he, he wiser. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> All right. <So. laughs> but the main point being, um, do I want to get married? Ideally, yes. Okay. Do I physically, like, do I see that in my future? Can I, like, Is it do I believe it so much I could touch it, I could taste it? Not so much. Mm -hmm. Um... Nah, <laughs> I don't, it's funny, I was having a conversation with my homegirl about it, like last week, like, I never really had any good, I'm not gonna go too deep, but I never had any good examples for marriages in my family, I don't really either side, so like, you know, people stay because of the kids, or stay because financially, it's a smarter decision, so you get to a point where it's like, when be, like you said, when people be like, oh, we're gonna marry for love, I'm like, Got lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really, you know, I will say I do want to be with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Long term, like, yeah, I want a partner, you know what I mean? But like, and some people like, oh, so you're just afraid of uh, the commitment. And I'm like, no, because I can have a long term partner. That's a commitment in itself. Mm -hmm. It's just that when you say the word marriage, my mind, you get triggered. it's kind of like, you know, when you get married, a lot of stuff should happen. And yeah, I could be, you know, I remember me and Dom was having this conversation. It was like, oh, you could be the, the set the example. But it's like, I have to have seen that to understand what that is in my mind, kind of, kind of, just slightly. You know what I'm saying? Just like, this is how I want to handle arguments. This is how I want to handle, like, conduct myself, how we conduct our, ourselves. But, like, so, Emilia, I'll tell you right now, no. I would say I've warmed up to the idea since, like, probably the last time 
we've had this conversation. Like in college, I used to be like flat out hell, man. <laughs> but now it's kind of like, yeah, I just know like I want a partner. So if you, you know, domestic partnerships or like lifelong partner, I'm with that. Like whatever, because then the commitment's the same. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, everything's the same. We could. We could have a joint account. You could have your own account. I have my own account. And we just having a joint account. If we're gonna talk about financial stability, and we just pour into that for what we need, and that's it. But yeah, that's it was crazy. I mean, to combat the points you said about um, you ain't had no like view of a positive marriage. I remember a couple episodes ago, Wolf said, "Just because you ain't see something, I mean, you can't be it." Mm. You have, or you know how not to be. Somewhat. For sure, you definitely know how not to be. I don't have really anything to combat that with. <laughs> and that's only because, like like I said, I understand to a certain degree you can shape what you don't know. You know what I'm saying? At least you can shape what you, you, what you don't like. You can shape what you don't know from what you don't like. You know what I'm saying? So that that that's fine. I'm just saying, like, in that regard, I was... It's easier when you got an example. Yeah, bro. At least like a mold, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm now I have to create this mold. And I you know, obviously if I want kids, I don't even know if I want kids yet. Mm. I got me a little kitten that shit. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like El bro, listen, times are changing, like you said, people being plant dads, plant moms, you know, dog moms, whatever, dog babies and all that extra shit. But like Wait, so <laughs> does that make you a cat daddy? <laughs> I I guess I guess it would. It would make me a cat daddy. Yes, I am a cat. <laughs> Yo, you're a mad Courtney. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Lulu gonna love that one. <laughs> Joke of the day. <laughs> Yo, I hate you so much. Does that make you a and it was, it was the way he smirked and started Yo, snickering. Yo, because I knew it was about to be some shit. Mad Courtney, bro. Right? So does that make you a shit cat when he first, daddy? He's like, wait, so... He just couldn't hold it together. T, do you want to get married? Yes, I do want to get married. Mm. That why? Is, why? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that I think that I just have a commitment to my community, the black community. And I think that married married kids who come from two parent households just have a better life. And white people knew that, which is why. They broke up the black family unit, so yeah. I just have feel like I have a responsibility to to break those curses by making sure I have a husband. Mm. Yeah, a black husband. A black husband, yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Amen. That's a good answer, is any? Hey, <laughs> yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought she was. I thought she was gonna go another route with the black. I was like, mm, what you mean? Mm, thought you were gonna say something else. You know what I'm, I'm gonna keep my personal opinion to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, for be like, like uh, Nate, you're nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Somebody nah. get this jigaboo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, look at this, Nate. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> this whole tap ass. Said <laughs> 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 Matt, what's the math, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That's on God, it don't him. Wow. Oh, yo, 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 chill, <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Anyway, that's not how to hit that. Is, oh, I feel like I'm be annoying as hell in a marriage. Because, you know, you ever see the, um, like, Bridezillas and all the other shit? Yeah. Mm. So I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the male version of that. I need this shit to look like this. I need. Oh, you gonna be right involved here. unnecessarily? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I mean, it, you know, historically, you know, culturally, it's like, oh, it's the woman's. The woman's there. No, mm-hmm. I'm gonna look incredible. Yeah. I'm going to look incredible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, y'all understand? <laughs> it's about me too. <laughs> like, you know, I'm gonna big her up all that other stuff, but it's about me too. Yeah, I'm beating them pictures. I'm beating them flicks. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be if uh shit. I'm probably gonna be like, this is a very terrible time we're coming together to bring two people together. You know what I'm saying? That yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pray out right now. My toast is gonna be full of hate. I ain't gonna Why? Lie. No. I mean it's, it's gonna be joking, obviously, but it's gonna be full of hate, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, this is this is sad. This is sad. That's scary. I don't. I don't know if I want to invite you. Then no, don't. No, I'm <laughs> don't. Don't. Is, I might have like a little button. Mm. <laughs> the whole reception or other stuff. That's gonna mute the mic whenever I press it. I'm gonna touch his collarbone. So I, cause, cause, cause I don't know who gonna say what. Mm. I done done some things in this life. Hey man, she should know that. No chill, especially she should, dumb. But she, yeah, 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 especially dumb. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Like, yo, you remember that night we went to... Uh, 
<laughs> it's quiet. I mean, I mean, you could think about it like, shouldn't you, shouldn't you want to like have those moments during that time frame? Yeah, but you know, there's certain stories you for the tell, wedding tape. Mm -hmm. There's certain stories you tell in front of your new wife and her side of the family, and there's certain st stories you don't tell. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. you know what I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like. Like an anecdote about uh, it being f how like oh hey I met at a party in college, and it was like reggae versus soca, and then mm. you got the wickedest wine for like eight songs straight. She already That's know. okay. It's a love story. Yo, that trip we took to DR in college and we we bought twelve prostitutes. That's not a story you tell people. That's not a story. That, that's not that's a good story for a wedding. wedding. You right on that. That's and that's just random. I just made that up. I I, I ain't even been to DR. Funny though. No. <laughs> Bro, that's gonna have from my just like from my perspective, it's uh -huh. kind of funny. Hey man, I'm just I, I got crude. But I'm saying you don't like Granny about 82. She don't need to hear that. Yeah. Oh yeah, she yeah, the family don't need to hear she that. She might catch a heart attack. Now it's went from wedding to a funeral. Mm. Nah, it's still a wedding. You bugger. You gotta hold that down. So I, you know, I ain't gonna go. <laughs> nah, but I. So. That car sound nice. I was gonna say in that same vein. Do you want to be a father? How do you see yourself as a father? I'd be a great dad. Mm -hmm. I'd be a great father. I feel like my my dad has done enough for I'm like, not that. <laughs> and not like a messed up way, but like, I know, like how we said earlier, like I know what not to do mm -hmm. and I know what I should do. And that's from both parents because there are a lot of things my mom didn't really, that I need from my mom that I didn't get. You know what I mean? Like there's a reason why I go so hard about supporting people with their passions and the things they really want to do as opposed to trying to push them into like something they don't really want to do. You know what I mean? Cause like, bro, being happy is your first priority in life. Like all the time, you know, not all the time, you'll try but like, you know, at least your happiness is important. So if what makes you happy is writing, uh, you know, some manuscripts or, you know what I'm saying? Like acting or modeling and do that. I'm gonna tell you to do that. My dad was big on that. My mom, not so much. You know, my dad, my dad, it was mainly like, you know, manhood shit that he didn't really teach me. You know what I'm saying? But I would do that for my son. And, and for my daughter, well, we're not going to get to the daughter ass. Well, the daughter, it's, touch, it's touchy. Okay. The daughter aspect, it'd be more so just like, I want my kids, I'll tell you right now, to end it all. I want my kids to know they, they have an authority, authoritative figure, but they also have a friend in that authoritative figure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you're going to make your mistakes. You're going to make these decisions. I probably... I probably ain't even want to agree with. But I know for a fact when I was growing up, I had made some decisions and some mistakes that my own peers didn't necessarily agree with. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like try to guide you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you what stones you might fall over. And, you know, if you want to talk to anybody, you can. At the end of the day, I lied. This was my last thing. I don't want to be a stranger to my kids. Mm -hmm. I felt that. I don't. I, I feel that way with my parents sometimes. Like they don't understand me or not to handle me when I'm going through shit. My friends <laughs> understand me better in that regard than my parents, and that's not to say that's messed up because that does happen. But it's like I don't want that kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would be grateful. I feel that mm -hmm. I'm be like not like Will Smith. That <laughs> I, I like. I ain't gonna lie. That's bad. I, something growing on in that household because them kids is a, apparently <laughs> apparently they're. Um, I heard that they're getting divorced. I we'll cut to that another time. We're, we're gonna tell another. Go ahead, boy. But I'm saying, you 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 seen that clip of that old ass interview with um Jaden did with Big Boy? Mm -hmm. It just resurfaced recently. But that's an old ass interview. Yeah. What was he it, talking about? Like he with, was like, oh, um, you didn't like being around kids. Yeah, because yeah. like you're not y'all talking about like recess, and I want to talk about the economic state of the world. <laughs> <laughs> and the people were like going in on him. Yo, that's. Crazy. I'm just like, yo, let kids be kids. Like I yeah, understand, yeah. like you you're thinking this far ahead but like don't talk about these kids that are six years old yeah like they like they're full of shit and like they're not doing what they're supposed <laughs> yeah. to like they're failures because they think like a six-year-old exactly like, bro they so you want to have fun i want to save the world what <laughs> what, the fuck? Like, what are you talking about i want to play like i get it you know it's admirable but like you know it's a kid and let him be a kid you know yeah mm -hmm. no, i agree but Ooh, that's something that i definitely do i do want to be a father um and i just want them to be free and just do whatever um I don't know, the reason for wanting to be a father, I guess I could somewhat say because my biological wasn't there, but I guess that's the short answer. But long-term answer is just, you know, my bloodline needs to continue, bro. <laughs> like, 
I'm sorry, this got me weak. And yeah, I see that, but I'm trying to ignore it. Because <laughs> he here like, you know the West of Westbrook meme when he eating on the bench? He's like, <laughs> yeah, <we're... laughs> My thing is, bro, you do know we both in shot, right? <laughs> so it don't matter how fast, how slow, you will be seen. I'm focusing on you, shut up. All right, what got me is because you, you can hear the back. <laughs> Wait, my and the plant moving and shit. <laughs> bro. Nah. <laughs> but yeah. my fault. I want to be a father though. You know, I feel like it's it's something really cool. You know, you know, just even watch your kids grow up, help them, guide them through things. You know, like provide them all the things your parents weren't able to provide you. And it's like just attempt to do what they couldn't do. And it's not even to knock them on saying that they didn't do a good like good job on it. But it's like there's always room to improve and do better in certain aspects. You know. So definitely carrying those traits down. Even the things that they um, did good in still continue to do pass better. it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. At the end of the day, it's like, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, you want the world to be better. And it's like, the kids are our future. You know, the youth is the future. So it's like, I'm not going to sit there and, you know, not like be there for them, neglect them, or, you know, make mistakes to where humanity will be bad, at least the way I see it. Mm -hmm. And it, although it's like less than 1% or whatever it is, of human out there, but that little one percent can make a big ass difference. You'll never know. Never know. Do you want to be a father? For me, yeah, I, I've always like envisioned it. I know at one point I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a father. Um, I know it feels like it's a little too soon, but I'm still trying to. Like, I'm already currently trying to figure out like what parenting style I want to do, mm. and as fucked up as it is, and as like. I don't want to say stereotypical, but as like in line as it has been with like gender, I know I'm gonna raise my son differently than how I'm gonna raise my daughter. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have you have to attack it differently. Yeah, but I you know culturally, it's what what was it? It's we coddle our sons and we raise our daughters mm -hmm. in a way. So it's like boys will be boys, da da da, whatever, whatever. But then women is like you're preparing them to command the home as far as, like, you're preparing women when you bring them up, like, oh, you got to be able to cook, you got to be able to clean the and third. Like, mm. that's, like, a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. In my home, it's not really a thing because I even just my home. I think just West Indian homes in general, boy, girl, whatever, you got to know how to cook from early. You got to know how to clean from early. So in that sense, I think I'm going to, like, repeat what my parents did as far as that. Um as far as like the differences, I know I'm gonna be way more prone to let my son make mistakes. I'll be somewhat of a parachute for him, but I'm not gonna do what my mom did for me in the sense where like try to bail me out whenever some like whatever wrong turn. Cause my mom did that a lot and mm -hmm. she didn't allow me to like make mistakes or learn on my own, which is part of the reason why I went to high, why I went to um college eight hours away. Mm. I need to be able to be yeah, on yeah. my own to like learn how to function as an adult without whatever safety net. I know if I have a daughter, I ain't gonna lie, spoiled, mm. fucking spoiled. Nah, I mean everybody getting equal treatment. But I kind of want to touch bases on what you said. There is a difference um, with raising, like, how parents, from what we've experienced, how they raise their sons and how they raise their daughters. Like, they raise their daughters to try to be this perfect, to be, to aspire to be, like, in a sense, this perfect woman for, like, a man, or even in a sense, not even for a man, just in general. Like, you got to cook, you got to clean, you got to have your shit together, blah, blah, blah. All these expectations on the daughter. And with the and with the son, it's still, depending on the household you grow up in, the kind of father you have, obviously, or just even the fatherly figures, but it's not as pressed as much you know what i'm saying like how you said like you'll you'll give some leniency you know what i'm saying like i'm the youngest too i'm the youngest of three and i'm the only boy so like there's always a story like you the prince you the favorite you know what i'm saying and it's like i ain't gonna lie yeah <laughs> did i ask for that no <laughs> but i you charge it to the game you know what, I'm saying? I didn't, yeah. you know what i mean especially and it also puts you at a point or at least for me at a point where i was like all right i don't want to hear that no more so i'm just doing my own thing i'm teaching my i'm a Try to make my own food. I'm a, you know, not ask for stuff as much because like, I was doing to hear that. I, I get you. I hear you. Like you didn't get the same treatment. Fine. But what I really want to get to is the fact that like, to answer the question, 
it's kind of like I want to treat my kids equal. I want to give them the same exact treatment because it's kind of like I see how warped it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially when, like, I, if you want to get into the dating aspect, but it's just, it's just warped, period. But, like, you expect so much from a woman. I seen a clip on Instagram. It was like, and she was talking from a male's perspective. It was like, I seen my mom take care of three kids. I seen my mom, you know what I'm saying, like, handle everything in the world, but single mother, and, like, she, and I want my woman to be like that. But it's like, life don't even got to be like that for yeah, It don't got to be. You know like what I'm that. saying? Like, mm-hmm. that was just a given circumstance for that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I ain't going to lie. Back then, I used to be like, I kind of still to this day, like, I want the woman I meet to be with to be a superwoman, but not like in the sense where she handles everything. But like when I see her, bro, she I know she can handle everything in that regard. Like not since I leave her. <laughs> you know what yeah, saying? like you, but you like put everything in her hands. But like I know like how how to define it. Kind of like when I talk to you about my woman, she can do anything. That's what I mean by superwoman. But like either way. It's kind of like, nah, I want to give him equal treatment because I want my son to be able to have what I didn't have, which was self-confidence and value himself to not do certain things, you know what I'm saying? As At, at the same time as we would do now for a, a daughter, like, yo, you can't do this, this is beneath you, you know what I'm saying? A lady should act like this, a man should act like this, mm. you know what I mean? So that's what I mean by equal treatment. Like, y'all both going to have... For me, that integrity I'm gonna build up, and also that morale and humility, like that's what I feel. Mm-hmm. I definitely agree with that. <clears throat> um, also, to add to that, I feel like it's also important, you know, just to let them be as they are and kind of work with that to yeah. standpoint. Like, I guess it's somewhat of an improv thing of the way I would think about my parenting style, but it's like, you know, because of those situations where they say, you know, a woman should act like this and boys will be boys, I feel like that's kind of bad to have only because like it ends up just tailoring the same exact thing that's already out there in the world you know it's like and i'm not saying it's like extremely bad but it's like it that can't shit is bad bro <laughs> that shit is you know bad. What? it is when, when um trump was saying all that shit about like oh grab her by the pussy and all that other stuff yeah, there were yeah. literal grown adults saying boys will be boys that man is a grandfather Please don't say boys will be boys. That's a grown ass man. That man is white. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm saying though, like, yeah, that's how they justify shit, and it should be weird. Yeah, but- extremely. And it's like on both sides of it, both genders. I feel or whatever gender that there is, I feel like mm. it should be. Good save. That's a good one. <laughs> whatever gender that it is, I feel like it. You know, it just has to be. These are like just the set rules of how things were done in the world. And you know what? I'm going to let you be and do whatever you need to do, you know? And I forgot even what I was going to say, but... I got a question for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody here. T, you involved if you want to jump in, you know what I'm saying? I see oh, you yeah, doing good. stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I remember, I, was, I think my... I, it's funny, my dad asked me this. He was like, Yo, how would you feel if, like, your kids came out homosexual? I'm fine with it. Well, at the time, at the time, it was just homosexuality. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, homosexual. I was like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be supportive of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to meet these people you, you know what I'm saying? This person, this boy, this girl that you you interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I want to be your friend as much as he's your authority figure. I was like, I don't care. He's like, what? You know what he's like, what? And I'm like, well, like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Force him to be straight? I can't do that. I wouldn't even want to do that. You meet If you meet something like that with aggression, it's just, you're just going to fuck them up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to hide. They go and it's gonna t- it's gonna manifest into something else when they're, they're older. Like I don't want. They just do not that. gonna want to be around you because no matter how well you act, they gonna know deep down you faking it. You you faking it because this was your initial reaction. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually crazy. Do y'all watch the t- the Tyler Perry show, The Haves and Have Nots? My mom used to watch all the shows. Tyler Perry needs to stop making. Yeah, he needs to stop. <laughs> he needs man. to stop writing. That man's writing is <laughs> he mad. Needs to stop writing. <laughs> Come on, T. I know you study that man's writing. That dude, that is garbage. Tyler it, Perry's writing is counterproductive for the black community. <laughs> yeah. It, is. it, it is, is, but it's a date. It's so dated though, yeah. especially when like you realize like the crowd of the the audience is changing. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't want to see that shit. We've seen that when we was five, six, seven, eight, nine. T- he we, like, writes for like white audiences or yeah. and old black conservatives. Mm-hmm. There it is. Mm-hmm. Talk about. It. But I only brought that up because. 
This nigga's not low. Y'all see this. Y'all see it. They see it. Anyways. Well, my boom. I only brought the show up because they did do something which I did like with the period of time, um, which was pretty cool. And even like hearing the reunion of it. But spoiler alert, if anyone hasn't watched it. But <laughs> nobody's gonna watch Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's <laughs> a good point. Um, basically, what happens is that there's a, a parent in the show that is like really strong against her son being homosexual, and it was kind of crazy watching the reunion because there was a lady out in the crowd that was saying, "You know what? Like, it made me think about like to what forty plus years back when I came out to my parents." And it wasn't in a bad way of her saying that, but it was more so just like touching on the topic of just like how damaging that could be, you know, Mm. and it was for her. It was very hard for her, you know, it was just kind of crazy. And then like um, what ended up happening was she was just saying, you know, it's just good for people to sit there and see that like, all right, is that how I am right now? You know, because like literally in the show, the lady's like very strong against it. She's like, no, I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. You know, like, good character play, I'll say that. But at the same time, you know, it's just, like, if people take time and, like, realize, like, this is what you look like, you know, being so upset about someone else's um, sexual orientation, you look crazy out here, you know? Mm-hmm. Just let people be and do whatever. Yeah. Don't got nothing to do with you. For real. I mean, personally, me, it would be a shock because there wasn't, like, that wasn't in my home, you know what I mean? It'd be a shock, and especially, like, growing up super Christian, like, junior choir and all that other stuff. So it'd be a shock, but it also, that was my early life. My later life, like I've said multiple times, I went to perform arts high school. Mm-hmm. Um, Then going to college. College is the place to be gay. Like, <laughs> honestly, that is the place to be gay. You could be in the closet all of high school. You go to college, everybody's out the closet. Nick, you're so communities and friends and all over. So if you, like, gay, perfect place for you. Do your mm-hmm. thing. Um, so, you know, you go to college and you can be around that. And you kind of, not to say that I ever had a real problem with it, because it's never been around me, like, from a young age. So it's just like, I didn't really care. And then being in the church and all that stuff, you get all this around you. It's just like, okay, what was so bad about this? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. and then being Caribbean, you know, you know how Caribbeans are about the shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I never really cared that much. And then going into modeling, it's just like, as long as there are boundaries set in place, you're not going to make me feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, as long as you we both understand, like, I'm not a homosexual. I'm not interested in men and sexually in that way. Don't make advances at me. Or initially, you don't know that, even though I don't know if I give gay or not. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> Like, <laughs> why did he say that? Part? Yo, nah, you know, people, I'm, I'm if I get gay or not, <laughs> I've been approached, and it's just like not flat out like, yo, you want to go to? No, I'm not gonna lie. A couple weeks ago, I was I was by your crib, and some dude pulled. Why like, got, I was by your crib. Why you got? <laughs> I will tell that story. We live in the same neighborhood, and it just got me. No, it was on your side. It was on your side. (laughs) That was my side. It was on your side. See, I just got the I got the gays over there. I will tell that story afterwards. But um, (laughs) yeah, it's just like indirectly, you know, modeling. People try to like gauge your, you know, gauge your reaction and shit to be like, oh, yeah. See how you respond so they determine what you what you identify as. And the shit don't really be phasing me because it's like we having a regular conversation. Then I start to see when the conversation turn. I be like. Yo, relax. Mm. Yeah. We're not doing that here. But it's, it's still so a hey, hey, big fella, relax. Yeah, but it's still a respect towards you because you know you're still a human being. So if it's my child, you know, mm-hmm. I want you to be able to come to me with whatever. Yeah, I know certain conversations are gonna be a little uncomfortable at first because again, I don't have much experience with that. So if my 12 year old son is trying to tell me how, like, trying to ask me how this works, I don't really know how this works. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a vague idea because. Uh, there's only so many places things yeah. can go, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I can for my job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but that story, I'm a, I'm a streamline at OD. I'm on a train. I'm going to um at this. I'm high as fuck, mm. and I want a Cinnabon. Mm. So in order to justify getting a Cinnabon, I'm like, yo, I'm going to jog to the train, take the train, go to the Cinnabon on Flatbush Ave. You know, and then jog back home. So I'm not going to take the train back home. Mm-hmm. Jog back home. You know, calories, I, I would have. So I justify the shit. 
So Balance. I get on the train. I'm on the train. Um, it's like the next stop is uh, Flatbush Ave. So the, there's a dude on the train. He gets up, and I'm like, all right, the ne- we're in the tunnel, so the next stop is when we're getting off. So I, I, in my head, I justify him being this close to me because I'm standing by the door. I'm like, cool, I'm on my phone, but like, still, New York City, you on your phone, you still wow. aware of everything going on around you. Yeah, you so the dude is just standing there. So then he started talking to me, and the questions he's asking make sense because I'm tall. Mm-hmm. I've been tall for the last, I don't know how many years. Mm-hmm. So random people will ask me about what it's like being tall or like, how tall are you? Shit like that. That's okay, regular that's conversation. That's like for, for women though, that's a woman's <laughs> flirt move. That's not Bro, even that. Like, what kids you think? will ask how me. You think it is? Grown <laughs> people will ask me that like <laughs> all the time. So it's just like, <laughs> My guard is down, so to speak, where people ask me you about... You saw Innocent like answering his questions. Yeah. He's like... <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Damn. yeah, because like... I'll tell you. you know, usually a random person coming to me on the train, I, like, wall is up, like the Brooklyn accent, you know, the, I do my regular my regular voice. Mm-hmm. When it's like a kid that comes to me like, oh, mister, you're tall, you know, I got to get the soft voice, like, make sure, <laughs> you know, everybody feel comfortable around me, because, you know... Dangerous black man. <laughs> exactly. On the loose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the niggas ask me questions like, "Yo, how tall are you?" Like, "Yo, that's a blessing, night. Like, so you know, again, being in church, when an older black gentleman or a black woman tells you something like, "Oh, oh you the sugar a daddy," yo, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying. Yo. But the thing is, like, you know, they have the, the, the phrase, you know, read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, or like when you're, you're totally you are close Who said to that? God. Like, <laughs> these are all phrases in the church, bro. Church, I ain't church. never heard of this. <laughs> anyway, it's, that's a told. song. That's a song. For real? Yes, read Where? the Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. It gotta be like a Caribbean I swear. Christian thing. But well, whatever. Bro. I don't know. Yeah. Ahead, so the ahead. conversation's <laughs> going, and then so maybe I would have grew taller. We just talking, 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 and then after a while, like I'm, my headphones is in, so it's like I, I kind of want to talk to nobody right now, yeah. but it's just like, all right, train stops, and get off. You're walking, but he's still like next to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. So then I stop. I walk, you know, go by his turnstile. I stop because there's train. There's a steps right here. The steps right there. So I stop to see what the fuck he about to do. <laughs> so he start walking this way. So I'm like, I'm gonna walk this way. I get to the top of the steps, and this nigga's following me, still trying to talk to me. So I'm just like, what's going on here? So then what's going he's still on? trying to what's talk to me, idea? and then finally he says. Like, he says something like, oh, um, you live around here? I'm like, nah. Yeah, we're like, right. where you live at in Star? Oh, okay, da 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 how long? Why, what you doing over here? I'm like, I'm just looking at him because I'm, I'm not answering him no more. And he's like, all right, well, I'm about to go this way, so I'm going to see you, bro. Mm. He's like, yo, you mind if uh, we, we keep in contact? I said, what? Yo, <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Like, what? Bruh. Bro, that shit just like fucked me up because I'm like, it throw you off because it's like you don't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, bro, like I'm just like, yo, and it's crazy. It was an old Caribbean man. It was an old Caribbean dude, bro. Can you describe I, what he looked like? I agree. <laughs> funny thing is, he like an old Haitian dude. So it's just like, yo, wait, was he bald? I don't know. He had a scully cap on. Damn, yo, I got a story time after your story's done, bro. I, I'm done. That's it. Like, bro, all right, so. Back when I was in college, I think it was like sophomore year. So go sophomore going to junior year, I don't even remember. I wanted to work out, went to Wingate to work out, you know, jog there, you know what I'm saying, did pull ups, push ups, dips, all that. So, you know, I got that pump, it's summertime, it's hot, I'm feeling good. So I walk I'm walking, you know, no shirt on, shorts, vibing, cool. I'm walking, I'm on the phone with my shorty at the time, and I'm walking past um, actually, right by your crib. I'm at his crib, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> by his crib and shit. <laughs> and then, like, Straight side. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, you know. <laughs> so I'm walking by, this dude's like, yo, bro, like, yeah, I'm an Uber driver, my phone down, I'm trying to get this, um, one of these, my customers to come downstairs. I'm like, where? Now, the Brooklyn, me, I'm like, phone. Like, this, don't you got, char-? I was like, don't you got charging your phone, in your car? He's like, like, nah, nah. I was like, he's like, nah, no, 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 no funny business. I'm like, nigga, you can say funny business and be funny business. Yeah. So he like, nah, nah, seriously, seriously. I was like, all right. So he actually gave me bread for it. I was like, all right, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm standing right next to him, you know what I'm saying? 
He called a person in his eye back. I leave. Thank you for the bread. I'm walking. Call Shorty back. I'm walking again. I get a text. I'm no. I'm not far than two blocks, bro. I get a text like, oh, hey, doing? thank you for letting me use your phone. I'm like, why the fuck are you texting me? You know what I'm saying? You got your service. Leave me alone. He says, honestly, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I was like, ah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> he like, you know, like, I saw you walking. You just look mad good. And I'm like, why are you texting <laughs> this to me, bro? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> all right. So then he's like, but the story, the plot thickens, bro. Oh, no. He like, like, yeah, you know, I'm attracted to you, your build. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's nice, thanks. But I'm not. I'm homosexual, you know, I'm, I'm heterosexual, thank you, but, like, I'm not the one for you. So he's like, he's like, all right, thanks, you know what I mean? I appreciate the honesty. I'm like, cool. You know, I thought that was, thought that, was that was it, you know what I'm saying? I get home, I get in the shower, I get through three more texts, like, honestly, man, you sure? I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> sure? I was like, what you, am I sure what, bro? I was like, am I sure, am I sure what? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, I honestly... Honestly, I can understand why how some women feel when men be haggling them about that yeah, shit. Like, yo, bro, yeah. leave me the fuck alone, dog. And like, cause it's unwanted. It's un. I don't want it. It's unrequited, yeah. like at all. Whenever I I enter like a situation like that, not specifically when like being hit on by a man, but like just being like pursued by yeah like, another anyone, person, a, a man or woman. Mostly, you'd be women, but um. <laughs> That's like I always I always hit up one of my my, my women friends. I'll just be like, "Yo, I get it. Yeah, like I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because <laughs> be like I was dead on the phone, showed it, and I was like, she's like, you see how it feels. I'm like, but I don't even do that shit. But yeah, you know what I'm saying like I don't do that shit. I don't be moving like that. But it's just like. You know, as a man, you know, you never, you don't really experience certain shit a lot of times. So when women complain about it, you be like, I mean, it's not just don't reply to him, just block him. Like, you know what but I mean? Then when you, but when the shit happening, you just like, all right, I get why this shit is so annoying. Bro. I get it. So I'm gonna finish up. So he's texting me. He's, I was like, bro, I'm fine. Like, I'm really good. Just he's leave me alone. Either. Like, you know what I'm saying? You he's like, all right. He's like, what if? Well, he's like, all right. Just let me have sex with you once. I was like, what? And then he says, I'll even throw in a woman so it could be a threesome. I was like, why are you trying to bar <laughs> Why are you haggling me? For why are you bargaining my sexuality right now? <laughs> so crazy. I'm like, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I'm really good. I'm good off it. Like, you better than me because I would have blocked nah, so the first. The, the thing first. is, I, after a while, I stopped responding. I'm like, but he's just texting now. So he's like, hey, here, here's the shorty. He sends me a picture of this, like, fat old lady, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> naked. And I was like. Is this happening to me right now? <laughs> this is really happening. Is this is real, real life? life. This is real life, bro. So it ends up happening. He says like some real raunchy. I ain't gonna say it, but he basically say he basically like, oh, I'll perform fellatio. Like, and I just want to see how you look. I'm like, yo, honestly, I blocked him after that. I was like, all right, you just gonna keep going, bro. <laughs> keep going, that bro. Dope. This man texts me from another number. I said, yo. Uh... It's probably that number he called initially. Yo, I'm saying, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? And then I had me thinking, like, old Caribbean, DL Caribbean men don't know how to, even if, even if, right, even if. Because they already say Caribbean niggas don't know how to take no for They don't know how to take, but then you, now you're, now you're trying to highlight someone who told you, I am not a homosexual, and you out here, bruh, 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 mm -hmm. listen, uh, let me tell you something. Stop doing that. Yo, well, stop doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no means no. no. Like, dead ass. Like, that shit is uncomfortable. Even if it's even if it's a person who's the opposite sex and you're heterosexual, when someone says they don't want you, they don't want you. If they're not giving good tail signs that they want to fuck you, they don't want to fuck with you. Leave people alone. That shit pissed me off, bro. So the funny thing about that, like... All on his side, by the way. All right, whatever. <laughs> the, we, you had mentioned about, like, dude trying to, like, quit, quote, unquote, sweeten the deal. Like, oh, I throw a woman in there. Mm -hmm. That shit triggered me because I remember um, back in the day, I was in high school. And this is around the time where they had um, those... What was the D, DL Chill Spot? Yeah. Yeah, so that whole... It was, like, a whole underground, bro. like, crazy it was a website. Syndicate, son. Like, mm -hmm. yo... It was. It was all bad activities under there type. Nah, it was. Nah. It was mainly just like sex tapes and like homosexual yeah. shit. Oh, but it was like, yo, 
it was like real under. It was crazy. Like it shit sound like a fucking like you know them books that that going viral now. Like oh, this shorty got roaches. Mm. Like those books. It seemed like a story from that. <laughs> so like it was a dude. He's in charge of this shit. And the reason I know how this shit went down is because two dudes that went to my high school ended up on this shit. Mm-hmm. So the way they get you is niggas be like yo. Cause you know in high school and your hyper masculine culture and all the other shit, it's just like if niggas tell you like, "Yo, like here's here's free pussy," you're gay if you don't go for it. Especially if niggas about to give you bread to like fuck shorty at that time, and mm-hmm. we just gonna film it. Niggas be like, "Oh sure, whatever, like it's whatever." Yeah, why not, that nigga? Gay. So that's <laughs> they get you cut. They got a lot of niggas like that where it's just like, "Oh, have sex with a shorty." All right, you got paid with an X amount of dollars. All right, cool. Have sex with another shorty. X amount of dollars. Oh, both of y'all had sex with shorty, X amount of dollars. I bet. Yo, I just want both y'all just now, and I'm gonna give you 10 times more. Wow. Love, and they was getting niggas. Yeah. They was getting niggas. I ain't gonna lie, but the, the, the dude does behind it, mm-hmm. they got his ass. Oh, for real? Yup. What happened? Because <laughs> after, um, because shit went, it, shit went viral. It was all over, whatever, whatever. I remember that day. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I had heard about it after niggas was it like had graduated from high school, and then like a year or something changed later, shit went viral. So now like I'm in college at this point, I'm back home for the holidays, and I'm on Facebook. I'm just scrolling, just back when niggas was on Facebook, and I see two of the niggas that I know that I went to high school with. They lay on the bed next to each other. I'm like, nah, bro, out. Wow. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Cause I had heard the story about them niggas at like a barbecue a year and some change before, but I ain't believe it. Cause it's both both these niggas is like known, like you get shorties. I ain't believe it, but I'm just like, whatever. So when I see the shit, I'm like, nah, I'm good. But again, Facebook, <laughs> everybody on my Facebook damn near all went to the same school. So it's all down my timeline. I said, yo, yeah, I'm I'm good. No social media for the day. Cause I switched to Instagram now, so now on Instagram it's the quote unquote crip sex tape. That's what it's a bunch. It was a bunch of crip <laughs> niggas like in the room, like fucking each other, and it's crazy because like they had the beads on, like niggas like Bro. piecing each other. Like I'm like, nah. I don't know what syndicate because it's, it's screenshots. I'm not like watching the yeah, videos. Nah. Like, <laughs> niggas got screenshots. Yo, like, on the, like on wait the- a minute, <laughs> <laughs> who's doing what with where? Because <laughs> crip gangbang. Going- That's a Yo, I'm saying, I'm saying, this nigga's really gangbang. But the thing is, the fact that the shit got out and the shit went viral, like a week later, that nigga was found randomly in like Brownsville, some shit shot in the head. Oh, oh yeah. yeah now I'm yeah, saying, because yeah. you you ruined a lot of niggas' lives. Yeah. Like he ruined a lot of niggas' Bro, lives. It was cracking down on him for real. Damn. I remember so just, that shit. My mom was like, don't go outside. I was like, nah. I'm saying, bro, because that that whole, like, yo, high school was wild. Yo. High school was wild. Yo, to segue into that, high school dead was wild, bro. This shit was wild, wild wild west. Flew by just off the sake of you just doing shit to do it. People was fucking in in, in fucking staircases. I feel like that's still regular to this day. I think, niggas, I think you a horny 13. But in school is wild. No, it ain't. No, in school is wild. You ain't got a free crib. You trying to get it on anywhere, anytime. But that's wild. Nah, bro. This it's is still fuck. wild, bro. Bro, like, niggas was fucking in project staircases. We talking but about that's, head in project staircases. That makes more sense to me. How? It's because, the same concept. But the thing is, like, you get Maybe caught. coming from a different <laughs> life. <laughs> you know I'm just saying? I'm thinking, think about it. Project staircase. You're you're still in, like, the vicinity of home. Some yeah. people do the DNA projects. I'm saying, though, you're still, you're outside of, like, a it's facility? public, <laughs> but it's still, yeah, something yeah, outside of a facility. This is school, DOE, like, mm-hmm. if, you <laughs> get caught, if you get caught, you know how much, like, rep, how much, like, niggas, shit niggas is coming down on you? <laughs> Security guard finds you. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Principal talking to you. Uh, teachers are talking about the shit. Uh, your parents are getting called up. Her parents are getting called up. Like, it's just so many moving pieces to the shit that it's, you just it's, don't it's, want. It's pretty simple. Boy meets girl, girl meets boy. Didn't have free crib. We was trying to fuck. That's how I seen. At, at least when I was, I was in high school. I'm being okay. now. 
These kids got debit now. I, I just, these kids got so many different ways to get pussy and ass. It doesn't. These kids just get Airbnbs yeah. and shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> talking about I got the telly. Yo, bro. I yeah, was talking to her. Tellies now. Yo, I was like a telly. How old are you? Aren't you supposed to be eighteen to be able to get a telly? Bro. First of all, I don't even like the word telly. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> hotel room. You know what I'm saying? You a hotel? The Marriott? <laughs> hotel in? Nigga, shit. Yes, bro, it's crazy. Yo, if anything, the wildest thing that happened in my high school, I feel like in the city, y'all just got a whole different vibe going there. <laughs> nah, I feel like y'all be wild too. Nah, y'all niggas just different. Y'all be doing different types of drugs and shit. You right. You know I mean, y'all, on, y'all more on some euphoria crazy That's shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all we be on some like, parties. We on some house right. parties. We trying to get high. Smoking staircase, probably get some head in staircase. I had never done none of that when I was in high school. You for real? Never. I'd never been to a house party in high school. Mm. Damn. Who, who, nah, none of that. Yeah, I only went to one house party in high school. You went to high school where in Oakland, right? Um, I was yeah. Well, one in the Bay Area and one in Sacramento, which no one knows where that is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not that's before you. He's in the um. Was it North Bronx? It's not North Bronx. It's New Rochelle, upstate. Located He's upstate. in Westchester. He's upstate. Hmm. No. You just said upstate, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> so, hey, you was up there partying with Rue, Booger Sugar, and all that. Fake was, but whatever. You know? Nah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. In terms of like drugs and all that, it's nothing like Euphoria, bro. Like, I'm sure time, it is. It's more time. glamorized and pretty. No, bro. You know what I'm saying? On Euphoria. On Euphoria, glamorized. it's more pretty. That's oh, what yeah, I'm yeah. Okay, okay. It's definitely probably more worse. Yeah, it depends on where you go. But, like, the most you would see is, like, drug-wise, it's probably weed. That's it, bro. Like, never see coke. Nothing other stronger. Maybe some pills nowadays, but, yeah. you know, an alcohol. But what I was going to say, though, in school. <laughs> I'm like, well, white people, you, was, you, was, you had white people around you? You said there was just weed around? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Well, I don't, maybe the California whites are different, but they got the all bay. the drugs. The bay. The bay. Yeah. If a white person says, come in the room, you're going to do drugs. Just oh, so you know. Uh, Anyway, go ahead. Shiggy, I wish had. I had. I wish I had experience. Like See, I went to house just parties. to walk out though. Yeah, I went yeah, to yeah, house just... parties when I when I was in college. Mm-hmm. You know, I had white roommates at one point, so niggas was just like the niggas was like, "Yo, pull up, we on this party, ah, uh, whatever." Man. So I'm like, "All right, fuck it, I'll meet y'all out there." Get to the party. Man. I walk past this one. This this room right here. Niggas like, "Yo, I'm gonna sit in the room because I'm not really big with crowds, but I'm sitting in the room." And niggas start taking shit out, and I'm just like, Andrew pulling out cocaine. <laughs> I'm saying though, like, and it's ridiculous because it's like, oh, super you know, you know, the, yeah, um, <laughs> you know the the glasses cases with the zipper on it. Yo, that's what nigga pulled out. So Genius. I'm just like, <laughs> Genius. I'm like, you know, like a dumpster fire. Like you, like it shit is bad, but I can't look away. Nah, you want to yeah. look at it. Cause this it's is your like, probably your first time in like it's my oh, first like, time seeing this shit in real life, not in a movie. Like I'm yeah. just like, this nigga's really wild. Wow. Like, <laughs> like you really about to do this. <laughs> and then he does it. And my thing is just like I understand weed or other stuff, you know, but like hard drugs is tough to me. Mm. And it's just like I I'm, I'm around I grew up a certain way, so like I know people like me feel that way too. <laughs> so it's just like if I start doing hard drugs, what are they gonna think of me? <laughs> no, not even that. That wasn't even a thought. I'm just like it's just like yo, dude, you you over here like trying to get girls, and like your go to move is like yo, I got drugs because there's some like, rules in the yeah, world. That's kind of crazy. But I'm saying in my head, I'm like yo, that's gonna work. That can't work. Women is just yeah. gonna look at you like you wild. That shit was dead working. I'm like, yo. You bro. said it's in high school, right? No, this was in college. Oh, college. This college, was in college. Okay. Man, I was watching college. the whole thing. I'm like, nah, this is wild. Women love drugs. I'm about to say, <laughs> bro. Like, yo, we're so love... anxious as people. I, like, our anxiety levels are on average higher. I feel like that's why we do more drugs. Yeah, like, women love that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. In high school, I was cu- I was a couple of house parties. I joined, like, first of all, I, the house parties was lit. I don't give a fuck. It was lit outside summertime. And white women will try to get you high too. Mm. White women will See, offer you all the drugs. Yeah, but you know why though? It's because that jungle fever shit, bro. I don't, I don't really. Is that because of what? They're jungle fever. They trying oh, to fuck. Yeah. Like y'all ain't gonna lie. Like you a black you guy. You attractive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One. Oh, you want, you, you want weed? That first answer. You want weed? You be like, yeah. And she, then you know what I'm saying? Then she'll probably like bring her own little baggy shit that she got going on in her corner. First of all, I would never accept none of that from any. In any of those parties from well, any of those I'd be, I'd be, I'd, nah, nah, now listen, is, nah, nah, hit no. me up, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I never smoked I don't know what, first thing, when I was, 
I didn't start smoking till like later on in college. Mm. All of that, like all those house party shit, I, that was in my freshman year, you know, whatever, whatever. Mm. I don't know what you do. We got a dude at the park by my crib. Nigga, yeah. Nigga's name was Fur Knuckle. He was I, from Fur from, Knuckle. Yeah, bro. I started playing ball late. So from what I heard, he used to be the goods back in the day. Niggas used to call him Kobe in the park. Mm. He was like that. Mm-hmm. But I played against him now. That nigga be tripping. Come to find out, somebody laced his weed way back in the and now he, he ain't never been the same since. Damn. So it's like, I'm never going to accept anything from any of you people. And when yeah. I say you people, I mean white people. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm super good. That's a fact. Especially because you really, you got to watch when it's rolled. I feel like that's the most important thing. But even then, it's just like, I'm good. You see me. I, I take care of yeah. my own shit. I don't, I don't yeah. smoke with nobody but uh, like a couple people anyway. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. Man. I I. We just did weed in high school. Damn, it's incriminated. Mm-hmm. Coach, if you saw this, I didn't do drugs. Uh, <laughs> Coach, she did all the drugs. I didn't do all you the drugs. I was... I did drugs. Either way, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, we just... It was mainly weed around, you know what I'm saying? Brownies, edibles, and shit like that. It wasn't really like... some. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. When Zans came out, when Perks came out, bro... Yeah. You ever you ever read up on the opioid crisis like oh, how it yeah. broke out? That's how I felt about Zans and Perks. Zans, Perks, and Adderall, especially Adderall. When niggas found Adderall in my high school, it was like also lean. And I ain't gonna lie, lean is fire. I forgot about that. But let me tell you something. I'm a I'm a I'm a speaker here. If we had a party, just watch me. You know what I'm saying? Not like on some dangerous shit. Like you gonna drink the Nah, bro, because you have to understand. We so I I've had watch you this weekend. That's what you tell us. Nah. <laughs> nah. Like for 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 my experience, like lean, like promethazine, codeine, right? Like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? You get a nice a, a cold slushy Fanta, pineapple flavor preferred. I got this down to the science. You pour that joint in there, double double styrofoam cup, ice. Bro, you cooling for the rest of the night. I I ain't do no other drug. Mm. Dead ass. Nothing. I feel and like I'm telling you, that night will be the best night. It, you so chill, you so lax, you just you coasting. You coasting. Now, now I gotta get to get to What really happened? <laughs> Damn, I forgot what I was thought when she said promethazine coding. I feel as though it was lit. That's all I, gotta say, it was lit. I feel as though certain things of certain people, you know, phrase different strokes or different blokes. Different yeah. folks. Oh, whatever. <laughs> different, different, different strokes or different folks. I'm good. I feel like as far as I will venture out is weed and alcohol. That's my limit. That's Pussy my stopping point. I, mean, I agree. I'm, I'll take that. Yeah, we we already them. established I'm, I'm the vanilla <laughs> nigga of the group. No tats, no hard drugs, none of that. I'm like, my mic was off. I guarantee that you're going to be like, you're going to hit, how old are you right now? I am 28. 28? I feel like you specifically is going to go out of the country somewhere and then you're going to like do some acid or something and you're going to come back and you're going to be that nigga that's like, y'all, like, I'm a new He's going to be that old head that has his whole, his whole horizon changed Yeah, shit. I'm saying. I don't know. Like, I was like you at first. I'm a re- <laughs> I, 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 I was you. I was you. I was you. I'm going to come back. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, bro, because like, you had an age where you know yourself, you know what I'm saying, a lot more than most. So, like, and you you had a late start to the drug game, you know what I'm saying? You won't do another drug. I'm not saying you will. I'm not saying you won't. But there's going to be like that. Uh, and you're going to leave it alone for a couple of times. But then you're going to spend the block. You're going you gonna to spend the block back, you know what I'm saying? It might be a drug that you probably, that piqued your interest. I was like, mm. You know what I'm saying? I, don't even, I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm good with All the I'm CBD. Saying, I'm straight. You know, current, alcohol. You know, I'm, I'm saying, man. Alcohol and CBD where I'm at. I agree now. No, Nowadays, it's, it's different. <laughs> let, <laughs> me, let me switch gears <laughs> for a little bit. Let me switch gears. <laughs> we going to get a little um, little deep. Real quick. Mm. Sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. Before we get deep, I'll cut this part. Deep. You're gonna, you guys are doing another hour, right? You're doing two hours today, right? I believe so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Wolf said he's throwing another hour, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just wanted to let, let you guys know you're going into the second hour if you wanted to, if you had any plans. I don't know. Some people have like a second outline, but just so you know. Got right. you. Cool. Um, yeah. Do you want? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, kind of like switch gears, get the conversation uh, a little bit deeper. Part two. <laughs> Part two, yeah. What is your relationship with manipulation? What 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 made you ask such a question? <laughs> That's scary. Cut. Yeah, it's it scary like, as fuck. But um, yeah. What's your what's your relationship with manipulation? Oh, damn. So like both of y'all uh, thinking, uh, Tion. What is your relationship with um manipulation? Like, how do I feel about manipulation? Like being manipulated? Yeah, like you could give us an anecdote, like a time that you were, a time that you were. That you were being manipulated, time that you were being manipulated too. I would say no. that um, I think oh, that no. I've been on, on both sides. And growing up, I think I was manipulated a lot um, because of innocence, naive, naivety. This nigga is loud as hell. <laughs> Not loud. being being naive, being young, and being really nice. It was easy to be. Sorry, hold on. It was easy to be manipulative, and then. Um, when I just got older, I think I was was on the other end of the spectrum as far as manipulating others emotionally. Because I think sometimes you like learn bad habits. And personally, I think a lot of women, uh, we suffer from not taking accountability. Um, and so I think that a lot of women m- manipulate their partners without really knowing or being aware. I, think I was to say that was, that was, that was kind of part of like why I brought that, that up. That was, grown, that was a grown answer. We like you. I we support do like you. fucks with you. <laughs> Um, Tion for president. Facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, like, like she said, I've I've been on both sides. I've been manipulating. I've been manipulated. Um, at this point, I have to tell you it's something that just happened. You know what I mean? Like at the time, I didn't. Did I know I was being I was being a manipulator? At a certain point, yes, <laughs> and yes. And then I was like, I just kind of sucks. Like I don't like this. Mm-hmm. When I when I got manipulated, that shit sucks. That shit sucks. It makes you feel you don't feel like what you're experiencing is real. Like you know, it depends on what type, like the type of manipulation or how it was, or the distortion. Because sometimes it's also distortion. Distortion and manipulation get construed and gaslighting. We, but you know what I'm saying. Like overall, in all any three of those realms, it feels like in whatever regard, it doesn't feel like what you're experiencing is real. Sometimes, like it's like. You tell them it's this, and they're like, no. And you're like, I'm not bugging, because I feel the way for a reason. Mm. But it's like, you can't really pimp. You can pinpoint it, but you can't really pinpoint. You know what I'm saying? So that shit sucks, bro. Like, don't don't, do not do it. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I feel like you're more susceptible to it when you're a person that is open-minded in the sense where you know something's wrong with the situation and you're speaking on it and they're telling you, nah, that's not it, you're bugging. So you kind of like, yeah. maybe I am bugging. Let me think about this. Yeah, bro, and that's, <laughs> yeah. and I'm the type of nigga, like before I blame it on anybody else first, I, I, will, think on I will think on and I will think, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, then you give them that leeway, like, all right, maybe I was bugging. But then it happens again and I'm like, and right, I got to ask myself again, am I bugging? And it happens again, they like, I, after the third part, I'm like, nah, I'm a dumbass because there ain't no fucking way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that's my relationship with manipulation. Don't do it. Yeah, definitely. Stand up. I've been on all sides of the spectrum. Even to this day, I feel like I still somewhat <laughs> use it. But it's in. It's funny because we. What is this? In our list of top. Anyways, it's like somewhat what? weaponized. <laughs> what? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We- weaponized ignorance. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I use it. You know, like sometimes, like if I know how to do something, like I'm, and I don't want to do it. Sometimes I'm just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, you just gotta probably like look it up or something. I'm not. That's not in my skill set bracket. Sometimes I do that. Booby do be doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, asshole. I mean, but it's like I I don't use it every single day. It's like an emergency, and it's like for my mental health. I feel Bloody. like. Bro, just tell people you don't want to do shit and leave it at that. But I don't know how to yo. say that nicely though. Yeah. You can't. There's. I told you. There's no way of saying that shit nicely. You no, can't. No, the thing is, you can say no nicely. First of all, nicely. Mean whatever. There's no connotation to certain yeah, words. Word, yeah. there's, there's no, you know what yeah, I mean. There's no adjective. It's really make just it no. better. Yeah, this is no. People right. don't you like hearing somebody. no, so they feel like you're being mean because yeah. people don't like hearing no. And they didn't get what they wanted. Exactly. Stop people, please. You right. You right. You right. This but it's like nah. if someone comes up with like another reason for why you can do it. That's the thing that eats me up because I'm just like, all right. You but know the what? thing about it's not about their reason, bro. You know it's you. I'm gonna say you know it's a really good reason. What? Because I don't want to. 
You're that's right. a great reason. Bro, you right. Bro, like I just don't want to. Like granted, but and, why? Cuz I don't want to. Mm. I had a like, why do you have to give why, why, I I've asked you a question. Why do you feel like you need to give somebody a reason at all if you say no? Mm-hmm. Probably cuz this feels like a whole, you know, confrontation <laughs> therapy session right now. <laughs> we just we're really just having but, a conversation. Uh, but I feel like it's a thing of where it's like I kind of just think about it like all right, you know, like if this is the only thing, like I just sometimes just find a reason to just make sure they're okay, and it's like, who gonna make sure you okay? That's what I'm starting to learn now. So it's like, you know what? I don't care. Wait, what's the saying? Bake. That's it. I remember uh, during that time where all the Black Lives Matter protests were coming up, one of my homegirls was just like, "Oh, there's a um, there's a protest in Brooklyn on such and such day. You want to come with me?" I'm like, "No." She's like. And she said, why? Mm. <laughs> and the thing is, like, in our relationship, there have not been many times where I've told her no. Mm. So I guess, like, in her head, it's like, wait, what? Why? And especially because, like, why he say no? This is a good cause. What's wrong? Like, mm. That is some shit you should, you should mm. want to be at. Yeah. So yeah. this was definitely not the time where she expected to hear a no. So she's like, why? And I said, and I sat with it for a second before I like typed it because I was trying to figure out a way. And I was like, I'm like, wait a second, the fuck, because I don't want to. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh okay. I don't really know the tone behind the message. She's like, oh okay, but you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's just that, because I don't want to is a perfectly valid response to most questions. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. It's you're definitely funny. right. Now I'm realizing that I think I know where it stems from. Um, I would say definitely from when I grew up, my grandfather. I don't know if he gonna watch this. If he do, um, basically sometimes what I realize is like kind of like there's sometimes like a pressure, like you know, that he would want for us to do certain things, you know, like while we were in the household, and it's like most of the time we do it because it's like he owns the crib, you know, you kind of have that type of mindset to it, pays all the bills and all that. But it, like even from when we had moved out, there was still like that feeling of obligation, like all right, whenever he says something. I have to go over there, you know? I got to do it. And it's like, it actually was a point where I realized that I should just start saying, you know what, because I don't want to. And I actually did this one time and it worked. I was like, he asked me to do something. I forgot what it was. And I was like, you know what? Like, I, no, I just, I just don't want to do that. Like, I'm just not thinking about that as much and blah, blah, blah. I still gave a whole explanation and reasoning, which I probably shouldn't have, but just kept it shorter. I don't want to. And it worked. Surprisingly, he was just like, oh, okay, blah, 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 and just went on about his business. <laughs> but it's like, even till now, like, sometimes when he does call, I'm just like, I always give a reason rather, you know, than actually saying I don't want to, and I'll get scared a little bit. I guess it's a little child in me. But it's like... And scared. that right there is like, in a sense, that's manipulation in itself, because it's like, mm-hmm. he knows he has seniority, he's an elder in the family. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say something, and he's going to do it because, A, because I'm older than him, because he un- he under- he has he feels as though it's an obligation because I own this that, and a third. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The older community kind of just like they're well versed in manipulation, mm. to say the least. True. Yeah. This shit is crazy. I mean, um, as far as myself, um, as far as myself, I've been on both sides. Like I'm, like, I'm sure all of us have been. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I feel as though being real with yourself is understanding like I know myself I had the potential to be the worst manipulator because I, I people watch I understand people I understand how I feel about situations I understand how people feel about situations so when you go that in depth of like knowing people you can kind of get a sense of I know if I act this way they will do this if I do this they will mirror or they'll counter and they do they'll do that why would you manipulate I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying I understand that because just from seeing, I'm doing what I want to do regardless. I'm I, In a regular situation, I'm just doing what I want to do. I'm doing what I normally do. Mm. But because I people watch, I know, okay, this is how you responded to what I just did. Mm. Now, if I was some manipulative, evil motherfucker, Diabolical. I know, okay, Every time I do this, this is the action that you want that you're gonna take. So if I want you to do that, all I gotta do is do this. Mm. Situ- situation like that. So 
me being my, myself and being an ethical person, I don't do shit like that. But I do know that I do have the potential to be like that. And I do know the potential of others to do that. Um, being on the side of being manipulated, I feel like, I feel as though it's kind of easy to manipulate me in a way. It's <laughs> like, said, I'm gullible, man. <laughs> and I wouldn't even say it like that. It's just like, because let's say um, I'm the woman and she wants food or whatever. And I know whenever she's in a bad mood, food going to cheer her up. So she acts like she's mad to get food. Mm, I see what you're saying. So you're going to get me with that because, yeah. you know what I mean? And even then, no, even mm-hmm. if I start to realize it, I'm still going to get the food, even though I realize that you're doing this to get food because it's just like... I'm understanding you in a sense. Mm-hmm. And some people do it consciously. Some people don't do it. Yeah. I feel as though it's our duty as people to kind of realize when we're doing shit like that. Because mm-hmm. it's fucked up. It's fucked up. It yeah. really is. And situations like that are extremely hard because it's like you you could literally just sit there and just think, you know what? I'm just doing this for my partner. Make sure she's good. You know, I knew that it's probably stemming from this. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's scary because you really don't know what someone else is thinking in those situations. It's like, is she really just hungry or is she just doing this because she wants food, like, wants me to get the food, to, you know, like that. And that's a real trivial thing, like, because yeah, it, it or, shit could be way worse. Mm-hmm. Shit could be way worse. I mean, you know, I, you just got to chop it up to, like, just hoping the, that the other person isn't thinking like that, thinking very diabolically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or very just, like, manipulative. Because at the end of the day, bro, like, we're all capable of it. You know what I'm saying? We're all human. We all make mistakes, but it's like, you know, just just be up front, be forward, say how you feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we we be straight. I my my biggest thing with society, humans, you know what I'm saying, is the fact that like we always try to give or show our best self when it's not really our one hundred percent self. And I mean that and this I would I should re- re- rephrase that. Your real self isn't your one hundred percent self in the fact of you're not this perfect person all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not always just like this open-minded, positive thinking, progressive person. You know, as much as you want to be, as you, you want to think you're the most ethical, you're not. You're not. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you're not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I try. You I try. try. <laughs> but that's the thing. That's the aspiration. But when you meet somebody, some people just want to keep up that face of like, yo, I want to be this person to you, you know what I'm saying? But you can't keep up face all the time. Yeah, that's that in itself is a form of manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know you wouldn't like me if you saw me this, every, that, and the third yeah. of this face of me. So I'm going to keep up this appealing, palatable face for as long as I can. Mm-hmm. Basically. Yeah. Yo, Wolf, you been manipulated before? No, ask the right, ask the actual <laughs> question. What is your relationship with manipulation? What is my relationship with manipulation? Yes. He said, whoa. I'm like, not good. Like, not good? (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't fuck with it, for sure. Like, my relationship with, like, how I feel about it, or, like, has somebody ever manipulated me? Have you been manipulated? Have you been manipulative? Man, I, yeah. I mean, I think when you're a nice person, people are always going to be trying to come for you. It just kind of come with the package for every person who considers themselves to be nice, you already know people going to be, like what they say, you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile, yeah, yeah. niggas going to do that. You know what I mean? So um, th- that becomes a part of your life. You know what I mean? Like, I done been finessed out of a lot of shit. Um, I done definitely been fucked over, over a lot of shit. It make you smart. Mm-hmm. You get wise. Hopefully, I did. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you, you know, it starts to decrease over time. But um I've been finessed out of a bed. Y'all both know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I ain't going to go there. Man. Damn. But let's just say, yeah, I, I witnessed that and a couple other things. A couple other things. I've been finessed out of a bed, rent. Some money. Oh, not the yes. rent. Some the rent. Mo- Brother. The rent, bro. Some money. Crazy. Not the money, bro. Mm. And that, that should piss you off, son. Nigga, yes. Always. That should piss you off. <laughs> bro, because it's just like, you ain't need to. Just tell me you, like. Just ask. Yeah. Just ask. Just ask. Bro, I swear I done been in so many situations in life where it'd be like, why don't you just ask, bro? 
Why don't you just ask, bro? You know what I mean? You, you could, you ain't even try that shit. You just <laughs> yeah. Went ahead and did the other shit. Like, bro, I probably would have gave you know, it to you. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You know, those TV, know them TV show episodes, cartoons were like, there's a simple way to get something, but they go about this roundabout yeah, way to yeah, get yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, That's Jerry, exactly what it Perfect be. example. Basically, bro. Niggas just be doing everything <laughs> for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just some crazy shit. Oh, so take it to a whole, make it a mission. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. it's a lot of manipulation going on in life. I think my one of my goals for life though is just whatever I do, just make sure. Because it's hierarchy to being manipulated. It's different levels of that shit. You can be manipulated by your homies, coworkers. You know what I mean. But my number one thing, whatever you do, do not get manipulated by these females, these women. That's like my number one goal. You know what I mean? Like just because that that be the shit that you be having you extra fucked up. You know, as a man, you just be like. I'm not even me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just yeah, out here no. not feeling like myself right now. And this, a lot of shit you can bounce back from, like, money, your niggas, all this shit hurt, but I feel like you can bounce back from them things way better than you can, like, when a woman come and manipulate you. Because that shit be having you down for the count. You, you don't even know who the fuck you is no you more. You be missing this shit. Anymore. You're like, where you been? Shh, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> depressed. Yo, but that's a, yo, bro, that's well, a that fact. That shit is such bro. a fact. It's crazy. And shit, and it's crazy. We just talking about Tiana about it. Like, you don't even when that shit happens to you, son. It don't hit you like right then. You know what I'm saying? That shit hit you way later. That hit hits you when you like, oh, I was a dickhead. I was a dumbass. Like, oh, I I fell for that shit. Yo, it'd be like, no, who man. was this nigga? Cause that's really not me. And I've been in that situation <laughs> a couple of times. Like, <laughs> yo. you're not that guy, bro. <laughs> you're not that guy. You're not that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that shit, it's. it's but like, you know, like ebbs and flows of people, it kind of like, I don't know, man. I, don't, I feel like it's a touchy subject with women because like some women don't take accountability to that shit because they're so like, like for me, like emotional manipulation is the most like Yeah, that's the most up fucked up shit. thing you could do. Because mm-hmm. it's like, bro, like, like I guess I've been on both sides, but it's like, bro, like, why you got to do all that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you reacting this way for something not even saying like in a sense, you know. Sometimes niggas be like, it's not that deep, but like real shit. Anybody can be like, it wasn't. It was just one thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And out of proportion, make you feel some type of way. Cause you know, if you got a woman, you got a shorty, you you feel that energy when she upset, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you you might feel what she feel, and like you know, you had had a great day, and you don't want to feel that, but because she's your woman, you you, you got sometimes women want you to sit in a funk. No, I mean, nah, bro. That shit's ass, bro. I don't. I, I, mm. What do you think about this? You know about the that one situation where so, sure you don't take no accountability, and she tried to make me. She tried to make her fucked up decision my fault. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like, little little yeah. anecdote. It was a show, it was a girl that you know I was cool with. We had our rapport, but then she just kind of disappeared one day. Mm. And I didn't hear from her for like a year. They be doing Deanie. that. Who Dini? Yeah, they be but, doing that. But the thing is, um, our communication, the way it went for a while, I, I understood the, the fall off. I I understood it mm. because of I mean? the communication before. Yeah, because like you know, I knew her, I knew what she was going through. Oh, word, so word, word. got you, got you. So the whole disappearing act, it didn't fuck me up because. Mm-hmm. You know, childhood, you know, early life, I'm no stranger to abandonment mm. in a sense. Mm-hmm. So, not saying my parents did anything. You know, anybody you. try to like, nah, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, random yeah, people yeah. you watch. Make shit connect this shit. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, um, I'm no stranger to abandonment. So, she disappeared for like a year, but then she had like kind of reappeared. And, it was through Instagram she reappeared. Mind you, my number ain't changed. Her number ain't changed. But, mm-hmm. like, you know, you reach out to me through the gram. But whatever. Still no love lost, whatever, whatever. You know, we talking. And the conversation goes, she hits you with the, I miss you. And I'm a person that I, I want to be genuine. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing this shit for years. So for years, when someone says I miss you and I did not genuinely miss you, I'm not going to tell you that I missed you too. Yeah, for sure. I'm not doing that because yeah. that's that's why some people look at it as like, oh, that's why I fucked up. No, nah, as a as a man, that's oh. important though. That's yeah, because most I feel like most men would not do. They would do the opposite. They would just fall in line with I miss you. That's what I'm saying because it, it don't make no sense for me to do that. She, I, 
I dodge, I didn't really dodge it. I just say, yeah, yo, I appreciate that. Like, yeah, that's how you're supposed to play it, though. Yeah, yeah. play it. You know, sometimes no, just you like, tell them, okay, thank you. Or you can do it like that. I mean, do it. I mean, it's the same thing, but appreciate sounds way better. Than it's like thank keeping you. it play at the same time. It's yeah. like, mm, but you don't really know. But at the same time, but again, you know, she what if she asked you? What if she asked you? Did you miss me? What you gonna say? I mean, see, that's what that's what the story goes. She mm-hmm. caught on to the fact that like I didn't say I missed you too. Of course, she was like, "Oh, so it's like that." <laughs> what are you talking about? She's like, "Oh no, because I said I missed you, and then you just didn't you didn't reciprocate." I'm like, "I said, ma'am, you gotta understand. Off top, you under you you we cool like, and you disappeared out my life for a whole year. The entitlement, bro, with no." No warning, like, oh, I granted, I can piece shit together because, I, again, I know her story. Right, you was being empathetic and shit. Yeah, but you ain't even, like, hit me. Right. Like, yo, I'm I'm out for a while. I got to take care of this hand third. Cool. I'm I'm wild understanding. Mm-hmm. Too understanding. But then something. you double back. You come back and with the, I miss you, and then you take, because I didn't say I, I didn't say it back. No. no. Nah, yeah, so what was nah. I supposed to do? Like, yeah, nah. wait for, like, a... Every day for a year, I like, think about you. Like, yo, I hope yeah, you're okay. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what that's people what want, though. People want to feel like, like that's not realistic. That's what she thinks. That's what she wants. Yeah. It don't. It's no beef. Yeah, but it's just like you coming back and like, trying to be on that. Now I feel like there's beef because just because why are you moving like this? Right. That's kind of a lot of girls do shit like that though, and I think it's just from like privilege of getting their way in multiple facets of life, you know what I mean? So it's like women not used to waiting. They used to making people wait, but they're not used to waiting. They used to like, Bruh. get it now, you know what I mean? Can we like, talk about that shit? Let's talk about like... it. Let's talk about it. Bruh, I and he know, the, he know the woman, so it's just like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, finish, finish <laughs> the story though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it's damn near dumb, but like, I had to... I, I was talking to him about it, I was talking to one of the other boys about it. It's just like, I'm not, I'm not even really... Mad about, mad at her about it, cause like I get it, cause she's mm-hmm. an attractive young woman, like right. like crazy pretty, so I get it. You've been coddled by men, mm-hmm. so you know even a dude don't really miss you. He gonna tell you he miss you, cause he right. knows what you want to hear. Right. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Cause I'm standing on some. Exactly. I'm mm-hmm. standing on something. Mm-hmm. It's like. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna feed you no she, bullshit. Because at the end, she should have been attracted to that shit if she was really real. Shit, if she was really real. She'd have been. She, she would have. She would have liked that shit. Mm-hmm. But, talking. Uh, this man is talking. But again, like me. Again, me and her still cool. But it's just yeah. like I had to check that that one situation. That shit done. Please. Yeah, that's wild, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I can relate. I've been through situations just like that, so I, I feel you. Yeah, bro, can I, can can like. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you fake trigger me just now. I had to take glasses on. <laughs> nah, bro, cause like, what gave me tight, like, all in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even all in life, but how we just touched, we touched a while back, basically, like, you know, the roles of boys and girls at a young age and what they're taught and what they're, like, you know, graced with in a sense. But, like, why aren't women patient? You know what I'm saying? With the things, I mean, nobody's ever really patient with what they want. Let's let's be real. I get it. You know, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll generalize it. It's true, but it's like there's always a time. Where it's like it's always a woman giving a man an ultimatum with the time. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, sure. for me, like it's like you re, like in some cases niggas be bullshitting. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Shit. I I ain't gonna lie. I've done it. But at other times, I'm telling you, like, nah, I'm really not bullshitting you. Like, you can't expect, like, to give you an example, why when I tell you I need time, you put an allotted time on that time. You know what I'm saying? Right. Time is infinite. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know when I'm going to get to the point where I got to get to, if ever. Right. No. Now, granted, I should be smart enough to know, like, if I don't know the answer, then I shouldn't even deal with that. You know what I mean? But, like, if I'm telling you straight up X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? You should take that is. Don't be like, hit me like two, three weeks later. All right, so like, what you doing? Because I'm like, time is going. And I'm like, what you think you're going to be doing with those two or three weeks that just happened? Refer. You know what I mean? Not like a disrespectful way, but like, what did you lose? Right. You know what I mean? That'd be my thinking. Like, not, not in the sense like your time isn't, I respect your time for real, but it's like, what do you, you make she women make it seem like they're losing something by fucking with you at a certain point? It's like what you losing on, you know what I'm saying? Like energy, like 
I I tell you, you gonna, you ain't gotta fuck with me if not fuck with me or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. But in the day, you it's a choice, and at the same time, don't be like, all right, well, if you if you don't got your shit together by like, it's like a landlord telling you, yo, you got three weeks. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, yo, bro, like, yeah. what is all that for? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like and that shit make a nigga not even want to do, uh, not even nigga, it make me not want to do with you. Cause it's like, if you put me a timeline on me, like, I feel, I don't like, feel, I don't like rushing for shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now you're making me trying to rush this process of trying to figure it out when I'm probably dealing with some other shit. Then we don't got to do this. You know what I mean? That's just my thing. Even that right there, or for something like that, that could just be the whole deal breaker in itself. Yeah, because it's like, all right, if you gonna be so pressed about this time or whatever it is, it's like that you don't want to spend time with me in general. Like you can't even value that, you know, as is. And you know, as I'm thinking about it, like only because now I think about it, that's slightly triggering for me right Yo, now. Yo, <laughs> bro, like you, come on, think about all the times, bro, when the shorty like hit you with some shit like that. You like, yeah. Bro, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't fucking know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm kind of I'm, I'm just sensitive. Nah, talk, talk your shit. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Talk Go ahead, boo. Nah, the thing is about that is just like, bro, like, there's a lot of things we don't know sometimes. It's like, that's cool. You know, like, unless you're going to help supply, you know, a fix for that, yeah. you can't rush it, you know, because you can't rush greatness. You can't rush nothing, bro. Or it's going to be just messed up turmoil, bro. Like, it don't make any sense, bro. I'm not saying I 100% agree with y'all on y'all stance. However, I will say um, s- women think that they can help you reach conclusion a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And you can give suggestions, but you can't help me figure something out that I'm trying to figure out. Because you can't hop in my brain and see like the cogs spinning or like the gymnastics that I'm doing up here to get to whatever I need to get to. And I feel like they think they can, but you really can't. Mm-hmm. Like, at least not that way. Yeah, like the, the brain is so complex, and each person just thinks differently. Mm-hmm. You can't really help someone get to a decision. You can help someone solve a math problem because there are set <laughs> rules and guidelines from get to point A to point B. You might have like three different methods, but like a decision about who I want to be, who I want to be with, how I want to relate to you. You can't yeah. help somebody get there really. Yeah, but as much as you as much as you want to show them you that person, you can't. But my my and I want to piggyback just actually rebuttal what you said. It's not that like I don't believe that 100 percent like I said that I when I said my statement, it was kind of like I know the ins and outs, you know what I'm saying? Like I know like sometimes niggas do be bullshit and two at the same time like there are some parameters to when that doesn't count. But like I guess my biggest thing is like I'm the type of person I ain't gonna rush you on your time. Right. Mm-hmm. That'd be my shit. Like I ain't gonna rush you. Like, right. the, like if you tell me now I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, I right, take your time. Like, you know what I mean? Like slow mo, baby. Like we could we could cook, kick it, cool it. We don't even gotta be together. We don't even gotta it don't even gotta be a thing for her. But that's you know I mean? but it's not reciprocated. And that shit would piss me off. You could say that comes from a place of privilege. Cause think about it. How many it women does. have really wasted your time? Mm. Now you flip the script, so it's a woman. How many niggas have wasted your time? They got a thousand, thousand stories. Yeah. Nah, they got nah. a thousand stories. So you, you talking from a place of privilege, bro? I, I I can't speak from I can't speak on you because I don't know all the women you mess with. But nine times out of ten, you it's not that many women that have wasted your time really. Hey, he flipped that one on the head, didn't he? I'm saying. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I'm about saying. it. I'm thinking about it. But it's saying. I, I've been blessed, bro. I've been yeah. I've been with like a I lot that. of women that's like patient, bro. Patient. Yeah, I feel that. I nah. think y'all both, y'all both getting that at a level of truth for sure. Yeah. For yeah, sure. No bro. doubt about that. No, I'm not listen, <laughs> trust me, this is a place where like it should be like a teachable moment mm-hmm. as much as it is. Cause like I got I know like, like I said, there's a part to me that like you might not like when it's like all the time, you know what I mean? Because mm. of the fact that this is how I, you know, something naturally think. I'm not trying to impress you. This is who I am, you know what I mean? But like, there, I'm just talking about my main concern came from the reciprocation part. Yeah, I get you know it. what I mean? Not from like overall. Like you got you know, whatever. You don't want to deal with a nigga for a long duration of time. You don't know what the fuck he on. Fuck it. Be yeah, out. Do your thing. Man. Do your thing. You? you know what I mean? Like I. Ain't, don't be mad when the nigga let you do your thing. Don't, just, don't do that. I mean, be mad. No, fuck it. Be mad. Because out of the day, whatever. <laughs> but like, I was funny. I was watching some shit on Instagram. One woman was like, yo, 
I told this man I didn't want to move to Vegas with him. I did. I stayed there. And I was like, you know what? I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, then, and then she was like, and then like, he was like, all right. And he was helping me pack, y'all. Like, his nigga was really out here putting the boxes yeah. in the car. <laughs> right. And I'm like, bro, said, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, he, that nah, was it. Was nah, like, you said you wanted to go back. And he was like, all right, I'll help you. Word. But that you said that's what that's what you said you wanted. You know what I'm saying? And, and then yep. the end, yep. she was like, she's like, as we put the last box in, and I'm about to get in the car, I turn on this nigga, you ain't gonna make me leave. He's like, I ain't make you do nothing. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna make that that show is just funny. That is funny. That kind of goes back to the manipulation part, cause like, you know, oh my fault. He already talked. I mean, anyways, it goes back to that because it's just you know, as I was thinking about it, it's just like, why are things done just for something else to be done, like or like expecting an outcome that you can't control? Yeah, I mean, cause, cause, it, cause you can manipulate the outcome you want. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you don't have somebody, like, I ain't gonna lie. I was the type of person where, like, I wasn't emotionally strong or what I wanted. So, like, you can, you can manipulate me to do what you want or like to that ending. But then. Once I got to the end and I realized, yeah, hey, I really ain't fucking with this, I'd be out. You know what I'm saying? But like, you guys, like, like we'll say, you gotta stand on one. You mm-hmm. gotta stand on your one. You gotta stand on what you got, and what you're thinking already. Cause like, they don't know what's in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta trust. Like, nah, I really. Don't. Or, or you gotta be matter of fact, how Don would tell me, you gotta be honest with yourself about what you want. You know, as as opposed to like what you want to give people. You know what I mean? Amen. And you just gotta let niggas know, like, you cannot play with me like that either. You right. know what I mean? Like, stand on that shit too. It'd be mm-hmm. like, all these games and this goofy shit that you wanna do. And it, like, if it's not fair, you just gotta really stand on that mm-hmm. with women. It's like, listen, if it's if it's a double standard, it's a double standard. You know what I mean? So I can't respect it. You know what I mean? So if I say I need time and then you're gonna give me an ultimatum, what is mature about that? You know what I mean? Really, you're trying to control the situation. It's like having a guy complex. It's like, you need time? Okay, I'm going to tell you how much time you got. Who are you? You know what I mean? You're trying to exercise uh, some type of control over the situation so you feel comfortable with it. There's nothing honorable about that. There's nothing nurturing about that. You know what I mean? And like, you can make an argument that maybe she feels the need to protect herself by doing that because maybe she don't know what you want. But it's like the mature thing to do is just be like, okay, like, I don't like it, but if that's what you need, okay, well... I'm gonna give you that and just talk to me if you need me. That, that's the, like, I think a, a more developed, mature that's woman mature would say that, you know what I mean? But realistically in life, and it's for men and women, bro, it's like more of us out here who are, are not growing and healing than there are people who are, you know what I mean? So you're gonna do, you're gonna run into people like that more often than not. That's why when you find a great person, it's probably worth whatever it come with because yeah. you know that the person's actually great. They're like mm-hmm. rooted in something special, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's... In order to... A lot of, um, I wouldn't say women, a lot of people aren't mm-hmm. able to give people to other, like other people that room because it's uncomfortable Facts. for them to not, right. have, it's uncomfortable to not have some degree of control over the situation. Right. And I get it. Like that shit is very uncomfortable, but you know, when you're relating to another being, when you, you're, you're dealing for another person, you won't be able to control them. Like. You can't control another person. If you do, then are they really a person? Yeah. They're just mm-hmm. an object to you. You know, they're just a conquest at some point. Sure. In order to relate to somebody like efficiently, yeah. you got to gotta be at peace with being uncomfortable and being in a place where you're not comfortable. And I learned that shit this week, last week. I, I'm dealing with a situation right now where it's just like, yeah. I want to, like, I want this person mm-hmm. in my life. So I'm letting. I'm having conversations with her that are making me uncomfortable. Mm. And I'm living in that shit. I was telling her, I'm li- I've been living in this shit for like two, three weeks now. Mm. Mm. And it's tough. Like, it's okay, tough. so is it like... I feel like we're on Dr. Phil. Now. I'm like, is, I it, gonna lie. Is, it, is, it, is it too TMI to like give an example? Well, it's, 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 uh, your, it's your comfortability though. Yeah, I mean like uh, you ain't got to. I'm just wondering because I'm like, damn, like I wonder what that's about type shit. Like... Like you feeling uncomfortable? You've been like, what? What? What are these things you feeling uncomfortable with? Yeah, because it's just like you know, um, I can't really give an example. All right, it, it all sucks. right, cool. I really can't. But cool. Damn, it, it, it sucks that I can't give an example. But it's just, um, what about an example? I was about to say, give it like an like example, an example, like a real example. Yeah. yeah. 
Not your own. Not your own, but like applied mm -hmm. in a different setting. Yeah, like a metaphor or something that yeah. is like similar enough where we'll get it. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, so me and her, we have conversations about love. Mm -hmm. So one of the conversations we had was um she always like she she's very um vocal as far as like she tells me, she tells her friends, like she's very particular but like you know how when was the last time you told she'd be asking like when was the last time you told dom you love him i'm like I told that nigga like two days ago mm -hmm. she's like okay you know try to be real like whatever whatever i'm cool with that with like my friends and you know but when it comes to women it's kind of like a little more touchy. slow yeah, yeah it's a so she tells me i love you all the time like damn near like all right, i'm going to sleep love you good night mm -hmm. so <laughs> i had to build to a point where i can say like say it as well mm. I got yeah. a question. Is that just with her specifically or just woman in general? Like, doesn't matter. I mean, her, there's a romantic aspect there. So just so it's kind so of like, kinda just mainly with her when, like, yeah, you guys yeah, say it's yeah. like, all right, cool. It was a romantic aspect with hers. But it's just, like, there's certain conversations we, we, we have to have sometimes because I'm single. There's certain <laughs> conversations we have to have because, you know. I see. The way you got to navigate the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that said a lot. Him saying that. that you already said, know that at that point. That's how you know. And that's what <laughs> examples, nigga. That said a lot. Real shit. I was like, mm, hurts. Yeah, it's conversations that we have to have sometimes. It's just like, all right, this is like a great person in my life and, and vice versa. I mean, I think I'm a great person in my life. I don't know. You cool, my dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's a person that I want to have in my life for a, a very long time. So certain right. conversations. This girl. Yeah. Word. There's certain conversations that had to be had and it's... Ideally, I won't want to talk about this today, or I don't want to talk about this right now, because it's mm -hmm. like, yo, I had a day where it's just like real easy, and now you put me in a situation where it's like, oh, I gotta think, think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to? Um, yeah, this definitely became the Doctor Phil show. Yeah, <laughs> out, bro. Of, out of nowhere, but like, lie. let's um, ride it. Let's, let's ride it. So you single, mm -hmm. but because of the the level of powerful words that y'all are sharing, because I'm. I would assume you've, you don't even got to like nod or nothing like that, but I, I was sure, I'm sure you've shared it back with her at least once, right? So it's like, do you see, is the goal for the relationship to to become a, a relationship? Like, oh, this mm. is my girl, I'm her man, and we're mutually exclusive? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And that's that's important, because now the next question is, know. why not? Because I, I didn't, and it's been a thing for me for a while. So not just with her, but just like many women that I relate to or like I've been around, I've been involved with over the years. It's like, and we've touched on it on the show, you know, what's the role of a man? What, And we always go for like, okay, he's the provider. He has to have, do this, he has to do that. Um, it doesn't have to just be financial. And, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta, gotta break those stereotypes. You gotta break that mind, like that thinking. For sure, yep. But yep. as much as I'm aware of shit like that and much as I know, mm -hmm. I... I say this shit a thousand times. I can't be in a relationship with nobody until I'm good myself. I got a question. Because mm -hmm. I, I know this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When is when when are you going to get to that point, though? I don't know. Bro, not, but, I, I, but I'm telling you this because we've touched on this before, mm -hmm. bro. You're always going to find a different thing every time. Every time you accomplish something, there's another thing you got to get to. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, for, for me to you, like, we here, like, at what point are you going to be like, I... I got, you know what I'm saying? Cause it could be this could fake be your fake self sabotaging shit, but like, oh yeah, but you know, bro, I bet you find another excuse, you know what I'm saying? To not do nothing. Cause you know, at some point in time, like I said, I've been blessed with like women in my life that are just patient with me. Yeah. yeah. At some point, patience run out. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Especially with women. Exactly. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like, you know, this time that I'm trying to make sure that I'm good, I'm on the right path. I get to this mm -hmm. goal. I get to that. Check this off the checklist before I. Uh, you know, it, right. at some point, people gonna be like, you know what, love you, but I'm gonna love you from over here. I hope that you achieve what you want to achieve, but like, I can't be a part of this no more. What does it, it take though? Like, yeah, what, no, that's what, I was what does it take question. for you to be like, oh, I'm in an adequate position to be a lover to you, like, because you yeah. feeling like, oh, it's like boxes ain't checked yet. Like, yeah, what are the, bro. what are the like, mm -hmm. not it's metaphorically, like, but what are the actual boxes? It's like. Bro? 
It's a bunch of shit. It's finances. It's okay. money coming. Situation. You ain't too broke. You look good, my nigga. You ain't too I ain't broke. Gonna lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and also too, money coming. Money drip up. Money, dude. money come, come and go, dog. I was having comments with my homegirl. Like she realized, like that nine to five shit. She didn't want to do it. She finally got a job with an insurance company. She did it for ten days. She's like, my 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 whole essence don't agree with this shit. So she quit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's like, money come and go. I just want to make sure I'm happy. She's like. Mm-hmm. What I realize in life, I, I want to be good, but I want to be happy. And I feel that, but also at the same time. Come on, that, bro, that bro, butt, bro. dog. I want to be rich or something, bro. like. I, I got to be realistic. Yeah, like, like what, what you want? What type of brother she got? Like, I'm saying. Going? That's what I'm saying. It's not realistic for me to just quit my job right now, bro. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I, like, told, <laughs> I, told, I told her, I was like, yo, you make sure you you, you still got to you know, financially stable, you know what I mean, to hold yourself up. But like. You know, chase your dreams and shit. Nigga. Like, granted, I can quit my job right now if I wanted to, but it's oh, like, you, like that. you feel like you can't afford her? Not even can't afford her. It's just like, there's a certain level of wealth that I want to reach. Okay. And it's not even just like for her. It's literally just like in general for myself. Mm-hmm. Like, wealth, though, bro? Like, financially? Like, financi- financially, oh, in a sense, where it's like, she gone. You know, when you, that's the case. Yeah, yeah word, she, she bro. Gone, I'm, I'm saying, and that's that's the thing that was going on in my head. It's just like, you know, when you were young, it was just like, it was always the whole thing was just like, being good financially is going shopping and not looking at tags. When you're young, that's the thing. Shit. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still as an adult. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I still look at tags. <laughs> but for me, it's just like, <laughs> I don't have pick up and go money. Pick up and go money? Pick like, basically, you could just leave when you want. Yeah. So it's just like, all right. Who does though? I don't bro. feel like living in New York right now. I know some people that do. I mean, I, not I a lot. That do. Not a. I don't know a lot of people that just got. I, okay, I know a handful. And of I'm people. not even talking yeah. about looking at social media <laughs> people that's my age. I'm like people within arms length. I could touch them. Yeah, it's like. But like, what does that got to do with you? Like, does she have pick up and go money? Nah, mm. but it's again. Wolf, you see what I'm so getting like at doubles, though. So we were just talking about like double standards, right? And it's like you like living and re- listen. At the end of the day, like. Can't nobody like uh, manage your life better than you at the end of the day. So I think mm-hmm. that's just important to just table that. You know what I mean? But then like underneath the table though, it's just like nigga, like you. That's the you like living in the double standards we were just talking about a second ago. Like if she can't do it, let me let me retract that because I don't know her. I don't know her pockets like that. All right, but I mean, you need to know what the pockets. You can't assume that she got it, know, she got it either like, though. <laughs> I can know what the check-ins is like, but not know what the savings is like. You feel yeah, me? That's true. I mean, we all, we, we all, let no, me no, know. We all was, broke. Yeah, I was about uh, to say, dog. Because if we was. We the working poor. That, man. That's, that's, nah, that. I mean, we're really rich, but it's like when it comes to like cash, like how much I got liquid, yeah. like not nah, a lot. You know yeah, what I mean? I not a lot. But, but, <laughs> but niggas is, niggas is healthy, <laughs> though. liabilities. Man. But niggas <laughs> is healthy. <laughs> niggas is good, though. You know, so it's just like at the end of the day, like, and then, like something else, we just, uh, a topic that we, Went across again, like another episode y'all was talking about, like women probably need to stop looking at men like, oh, well, if you don't got money, then you can't be a leader, right? That's something that yeah, we talked yeah, about. Yeah, so like true. in this scenario, yeah, wolf coming at me. No, 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 no. I'm just saying in this scenario, it's like, like it, you still you still very much so a man. You can still provide a lot. You know what I mean? Just I think we all know this. Like yeah, the type I of, acknowledge that earlier. I said, like, as much as I know right. that we gotta break out this shit. There's still certain shit that's ingrained in me. I'm just like, right. yo, like, I got to be able to do this. Not just for me, because it's just like, mm-hmm. for me. And also, now, if I feel like I, I want to be a part of your life, I got to be able to do and take care of you at some point in some aspect. Now, further along down the line, a kid come. You know what I mean? I would like, ideally, I'd like to get married before I have a kid. Right. And the average cost of a marriage is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It don't really make no sense to me. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. and again, like this, this is not a woman that I've had a talk with marriage about. Right. I'm sure. So I don't really know. Like, I haven't had that conversation with her. Yeah. So I don't really know her stance on it. I know some women that's just like, oh, I'm I'm not big on that. Let's put a down payment on the house. I know some women that's just yeah, like. Yeah, I'm sure. And they're crazy. I've known some women <laughs> are just crazy. like, I want a big, I want a big marriage. I want a big wedding. Yeah. My family. Five hundred. What's the rush guests. though? Like, what's the like? Why, why are we even bro, talking about marriage? Bro, time, time. You see what I'm saying? Like, why are we even time, talking about marriage? Bro. Like, I'm you like, see what I'm saying, like, bro? Time. Like, how long have, have you known her for? A year. I know her for like going on three years now. Okay, um, but y'all haven't been dating for three years. 
If we keep it a stack. You're doing some on and off shit? Yeah, if you, if you, if you want to phrase it like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Word, I feel it. Even, love, uh, even still, I'm like, damn, why are we talking about marriage? Like, We not, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Like, but you thinking, you, bro, you, like, you thinking so deep, structured in a yeah, head. Man, it's yeah. like, damn, bro, what about don't, today? Bro. And this is not just what her particularly. I'm just saying, like, in general, I know. in order for me to relate and be with another, being the woman, right. like, another woman. To be with a woman is <laughs> just like, yeah. yo, there's certain shit that I gotta be able to do, take care of in order for me to Before feel I go comfortable. Into that phase of the yeah. the thing is, I'm not gonna be happy. I could, I could, I could drop everything, get rid of all this, whatever, and then be with you. But am I yeah. going to be happy long term? Yeah, why would you be, even do that though? I'm just that's what I'm saying. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, why even just say that? You but know that, what I mean? But that go back to what you said. You know, they want to answer, they want this, they want that. I can do that, but you know, at some point down the line, you gonna hate me because I'm not gonna be happy and you gonna feel that I'm not happy. Wait, she gonna hate you for what? No, I'm saying if you're in a relationship with somebody, right, and you feel that they're not happy. Why they're not you, happy? And you know the reason that they're not happy is because they didn't do what they wanted to do. Like what though? As like, far as like, let's oh, say, oh, like with their own life type shit. Yeah, mm. let's I say like, oh, I, you want okay. To be, so it's a question about basically you didn't do. You feel like you're not. You haven't done what you wanted to do, which is by yourself. Yes, yet. I'm not comfortable mm. within myself. I don't feel oh. within myself. So mm-hmm. I know no matter what, I'm not gonna be happy. And then you're not gonna be happy because I'm, I'm not, not happy. happy. But what I'm just trying to figure out um, to make it less lofty and more like like tangible, like. Where? What is it that would happen that would stop you from being happy? Like just something like I can hold. Give me something I can hold. Like what is I'm it that not, would? It, it's a sense which is like I don't like, feel like the vision of a man that I have that I have in my head. Then you you okay. kind of going against low key what we be talking about then too. I, bro. I, and I acknowledged yeah. that in the beginning. I said as much as I know that that's a mind frame that we got to get out of. It you it stuck in it too. In me. Yeah. Right. Yo, boo, what you was gonna say? Yeah. yeah. Nah, I was just gonna say it's probably just like a specific as, as he just said. You know, just the image of that. Um, he's just not fully ready. Before I don't know. Because a big it's, thing a big thing about me is the fact I don't ever ever want to be someone's regret. I don't okay, ever yeah. want to, you know what I mean? I hear you, but okay, so let's then let's talk about the kind I know I've been in a situation, I don't really regret anybody. Why would she? Involved, but, but, and, and thank you, Wolf. Like, why, 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 why is that even, because, bro? Why is that projecting me right now, dog? As many, as many women friends that I have, you know, we have conversations. Okay. So you kind of like, I'm kind of on the inside of shit. You know, she told about, oh, she was talking to this dude, she was with this dude for this long, and. Like I said before, you know. Okay, so you got some niggas info. wasted her time. But you not right. I, 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 people like this. This is what I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, you said on and off for like three years, right? No, no, no. I said I've known her for three. Years. I've known her for three years, on and off. Okay. Right. I feel like it's funny, but and so, so, it's not all women. You know what I'm saying? I want to generalize it. Well, some women just have that like that soft spot for that certain person, a certain man. Now, let me finish. Cause you you gonna combat me with like different things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've been doing that, but I'm saying like, cause at the end of the day, bro, like no matter how you try to fight it, I really like, cause I do that shit too, you know that. But like, no matter how you fight it, no matter what what defenses and reasons, whatever you got, it's always gonna boil down to the fact that she never asked for any of that shit. You want it, and that's great. That's perfectly fine. But we all know in life, bro, life ain't structured like that. If that's the case, we would have been great already. We would have been fine already. You would have been great. I would have been great. He would have been straight. Wolf would have been straight. T would have been straight. We would have been fine. But it's not. It don't work like that. We just try to make. We just try to make the most, the best route possible. I be thinking about. Sorry about. I be thinking how like our parents had us when we was like 21, 22, 23 at their age, right. at our age. And I'm like, we be looking at them like you niggas is wild. But they made it. Yeah. They made us. They figured it out. Yeah, true. You know what I'm Omar saying? Never let me. I mean, but never let me not know that this sacrifices. Yeah, but never the, let me not know that. But, yeah. but but that's the thing about life, bro. It's always gonna be some sacrifice given and give or take. And you you like more than enough. And you bro. more than enough, like, bro. And like, I'm not listen. I'm not trying to be on some like 
you should do it. I'm just yeah, right. saying, because exactly. exactly. I don't want this to yeah. be this kind of conversation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because last time niggas did that shit, niggas be like, it was Nate's fault. I ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> All I'm saying is, but I apologizing to Dom to the I ain't apologizing. <laughs> listen, listen, let me tell you. I look in the camera, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I did it. Let um, <laughs> No, but seriously, like, at the end of the day, bro, you'll find all these other reasons, but women really just want you for you. You know what I mean? And I'm, I don't know her like that to even say that, but like, I feel like we've lived a long enough time where we know, we, we've we dealt with women long enough to understand the experience and understand, like, sometimes it don't even got to be all that, bro. One time I had a woman just say, yo, I just want you. Fuck all the money shit. Fuck all of the, mm -hmm. the aspirations, the ambitions, the goals. Mm -hmm. I just want you. And I got you. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, last thing, it just seems to me like you, 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 you're dealing with like a internal strife that you got to, sure. yeah. got to, you know, address. You know what I mean? But that internal strife, I ain't going to lie. There's only one way you're going to figure that out. Either you do it or you don't. And you more than enough. And like you I, more than I gotta I gotta reiterate that shit because it's like, bro, women are women. They're not angels. Mm -hmm. They're people. You know what I mean? Like they booty stank and all that. They regular. You know what I mean? So it's like as great as she is, y'all not like unequally yoked or no shit like that. Like I don't I'm sure she's a beautiful person, you know what I mean? But you're a beautiful person too. You know what I mean? And just like you got flaws. She got flaws, and I'm sure she's doing an incredible job at keeping a lot of them tucked, you know what I mean, for the mm -hmm. long run, because women, get, they can do the marathon, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, you know, you you got your own principles and your own moral code, and that's that's always honorable, you know what I mean? So as long as you're having a good time, you enjoy yourself, that's the only thing that really matters. But it's like, there's never going to be a time, bro, where like, nigga, you're going to be a catch for whoever get with you, you know what I mean? Because you're not a regular nigga. That's one. So you need to, Fact. like, you need to be walking around like... Fact. I'm an exception to the rule because you are, bro. You know what I mean? In real life, like, don't be walking around like you. What's, bro, what's the point of being you and walking around like a regular nigga? Not to say you feel like that, but it's like you, you are a walking privilege. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Literally. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in this world, bro, there's like a, a multitude of women who would love to have a nigga just like, like you. you. So even though you working through the shit that you working through, you still you. Right, right. And I understand. I understand a lot of that. Let me, yo, let me, Look, let me, you better not say the word. Up. I got to <laughs> I, 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 I got two nah, points nah, to nah. make. No, I'm saying don't say the word but. Just don't say the word but. I two points to make. Say the word but. Say what you need to say. I got two points to make. Say what you need to say. I got two points to make. A lot of what I'm saying comes off as um, these struggles are keeping me... Like, these struggles are because of a woman and stuff like that, but it's mm -hmm. really not. It's just shit that I have to take care of for myself. It just so happens to affect how I relate to women. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, we, so know we know that. Yeah. Nah, we know that. We know. We know. We got, we got that. No, you, you good. No, we, we understood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just, <laughs> we didn't. You didn't. You, we, you came off perfectly, my brother. All right, cool. <laughs> That's your point, for sure. And one of the things you said was the um, woman say, you know, I just want you for you. Fuck yeah. with my nature, shit, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But the thing is, like he's like the thing said. is, you know how you know how we are as far as like as far as men, we're geared to like a solution oriented. Yeah, like we gotta have the answer. So like you know, fuck the financial shit, but you know, later on the line, something on the line, something happened, and now I gotta figure it out. Mm -hmm. But you gonna figure it out though, and you gonna I'm gonna drive myself crazy trying to figure it out. Nah, but you gonna figure it out though. Yeah, but it's just like there's certain situations that's way easier to figure out without got, when you like, buy yourself. If you got 50 racks of throw around money. Oh man. Nah, you know, bro, you go. got nah, like, like, cash in, I'm bro. Being realistic. I, nah, no, I mean, you mean, you be you, being, you is rap, reality. You So you are being realistic, you know what I mean? You wrapped up in the in the capitalist capitalistic thinking though, bro. And granted, that's what we live in. So yeah, for sure, true, fine. But like and at the end of the day, bro, you can say all that shit all you want. Like we could, bro, we could sit here if, as niggas, we could sit here for hours, <laughs> right? Talking about like, yo, we gotta get this done, this done, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the shit really ain't gonna change nothing. Like in in the sense of what I mean by not gonna change shit is because like, bro, like I said in the beginning, money come and go. It do. You will be like, God it's forbid, real good when the money here. Yeah, yeah, it really is good. It really you know, is good. And then guess here. what? And then guess what? Guess what? And then the move, the money's gone because you gotta spend right. it for some shit. Nigga, me and my shorty, both of us be broke, nigga. Bro, we be broke, po. nigga. We be broke, po, nigga. Po. I'm talking, we be broke, po. nigga. Like it be nasty work out here sometimes, bro. We be making it. We gotta make it work. Bro. You feel me? Like we gotta make it work. And like I said, our parents was doing the shit, making it work. 
I'm listen. I'm not. And I was. I, I want to say this. I'm not trying to invalidate any of the reasons you gave. Because right. I, I can't. I know you. Because I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. sometimes it could come off that way a little bit. Nah. But I'm just saying. We just saying, bro. Like, if this is my thing. Matter of fact, I don't say for them. For my thing. And just in general, not in this specific, specific situation. We're talking about for you. If not now, then when? If not, then when? It will be never. Straight up. No, nah, I mean, I'm not saying this specific situation, but like, if you're gonna have all these reasons, bro, because I we all got our personal reasons, you but like, real shit, like, you gotta take a chance on yourself if someone's willing to take a chance on you. That's like when Booby told me in Miami, like, yo, bro, I wanna shoot videos for you because I believe in you. He took a chance on me. I gotta believe in that nigga, but, but I have to believe in myself because another nigga believed in me, but fuck that, I gotta believe in me. Yeah. You know what I'm real. saying? The same way we started the podcast. That's leadership. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that what we talk about the manhood shit. Part of being a man is that leadership. You know what I'm saying? You got peers that are willing to talk to you face to face about your issues and shit. Shit, we only really know him Wolf for like three and four months. And he be be talking to him like he the homie and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I be listening to him like, damn, where you was at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, so if if it's not now, then when? If it's if when is the when? It's gonna it's gonna be never, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like one thing you. I do want to say about um, from Leon's perspective, what do I think? Correct me if I'm wrong, but like I feel like it's a thing of where it's like people are somewhat like it's almost like a responsibility. Any relationships you have with your friends, family, whoever it is, so it's like. Sometimes you don't want to take on a responsibility just in case of a mishap happens with another person, you know, and that's feel like that's why you're saying the money um, situation is because it's like a thing of where it's like, all right, if he's only taking care of himself, he only has to worry about himself. Now, if he's with another person, his partner, he has to also think about that. You know, like I don't even think it's like a thing of where it's like, oh, damn, the money or whatever it is. It's just like. It's just responsibility wise, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, especially as yeah. men, you know. Money was just like maybe like you said, makes a, give me something that's tangible. So mm-hmm. I mean money anybody can relate to money, but I mean like just just multiple things that just like come with dealing with another person. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You wanna give that person. Sure anecdote for the viewers and stuff. This is the purpose <laughs> of a conversation. It's not to change somebody's mind and make them think what you think. It's mm-hmm. really just to Promote critical thinking, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and also giving them a different perspective on shit. Exactly. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? like, long as you having fun, my nigga. That's all. Oh, word. <laughs> as long as you having fun, for, for, like, yeah. for all the last thirty minutes of the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. As long as you having fun, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's long your birthday. You we gonna get you lit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm, I feel yo, every time I do some shit like that, bro. I feel like that nigga Dame Dash, bro. I ain't gonna care. That nigga when he was with Jay Z and shit, and Jay Z was just like. Stop talking, nigga. <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, but, bro, for real, like, just enjoy life for real. And also, to emphasize our point, you know, what's for my point, Bowie's point, give yourself some grace. Give yourself some grace, bro. I'll like, be trying. Okay. I know, I know it's hard, it's harder to, it's harder to do than to, than say, but like, give yourself some grace, bro. You've come this far. And that's the thing. Um, I feel, I, feel, I feel like that's a perfect example. <laughs> no, 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 no. Life is hard, Life is hard. I'm saying, um, I know the way I grew up, and I know a lot of people grew up the same way. I've seen that story. I've heard that story mad different times. It's just like, um, not to take anything away from my brother because he's he's who he is, and you know he's a success in himself. But you know, your parents sometimes your parents give you that kind of label as just like you're the hope type shit. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. Again, not taking nothing away from my brother because he doing he doing it. Mm-hmm. But it's just like you know, parents don't really understand what that does to a kid sometimes. Because just yeah, like that. now, I start to believe it, and now it's just like you internalized it. All right, cool. I do good in school. I get good grades without even trying. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, and I've had teachers that tell me shit like I remember in high school. One of my favorite teachers, Miss um, Tyson. She used to teach uh Tyson. world what was it her world history. Billy Tyson. <laughs> Whatever it is, is oh global oh, history. Yeah, she used to teach global history. She used to talk. She I went to a school where it was like it was young teachers, so they was like twenty five, twenty seven, you know, shit like that. Hello. So we don't know what we're doing. It was one thing she told me, and it kind of stuck with me. <laughs> Od, she was just like, you know, you're a smart kid. Like you're you're probably one of the smartest kids I've ever taught. But you kind of got to look at it like this. You're smart here. 
mm-hmm. you're going to go to college because you're a smart kid. Mm-hmm. When you go to college, you're around other kids that were the smartest kid where they were. Mm-hmm. And now you're really going to see if you're really that smart. <laughs> and that shit stuck with me when I got to college. And then it didn't help because I was able to look around. I was just like, yeah, I'm still smarter than these people. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing, and then I kind of learned, you know, college is not really about being smart. It's about doing your shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. For sure. That's cool in general. Shit. Yeah. Just about Dang doing it. your shit, getting Dang whatever it. needs to be mm-hmm. done, done. Mm-hmm. Right. So a lot of like the shit that I feel comes from that trajectory where it's just like, I, so, I was here, I was told basically by everybody around me, I'm going to end up here. And if you keep going this way, you're gonna end up here, and you're gonna you're gonna you know, here is where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And I took so many diversions and twists and turns, Bro, that's life. and I'm not mm-hmm. where ten year old me thought I was gonna be at which 28. Is, which is where? First of all, Shit. ten year old you didn't know nothing about life. Nothing. About I ain't gonna lie. Ten year old you probably, yeah, ten year old you probably didn't even think about <laughs> that's you now, nigga. What did you think you yeah. was gonna be? Shit, we, we, we were talking about this shit, uh, not last week, week before. Mm-hmm. Said, I thought I was going to be married at 27. We all did, nigga. <laughs> who, who the fuck is we? Who oh, the fuck that? is who? Oh. Who? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, a fairy tale? Yeah, nigga, tell you, oh, niggas oh, watching yeah, Disney over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm saying, I, I, I say this shit I every like, time. Oh, yeah. I grew up on Disney Channel. Yeah, I'm definitely. You watching black movies and shit? That's yeah, this like this nigga out yeah, here filling his head with lies yeah, and shit. The head of his department at age of 24. But there's so like, many reasons why, like, you're not in that truth, though. And and majority of them and have nothing to do with you. Yo. But, but the thing is, you know what I mean. And also, the the bad thing about being someone that's aware is and aware of myself is I know that many of the obstacles I've faced have nothing to do with me. I didn't create them for myself. For sure. But I, I but I am conscious of the ones that I did create for myself. Yeah. And that's what fucks me up. Because if you don't know, we create our own demons. Yeah, bro, bro, you, you gotta let go of that. Yeah, that, bro. I'm just man. like, bro, I listen. You got, I, like, sound, I sound super depressing when I'm No, I you don't sound nah, depressed. No, 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 I've, I've I've spent like a lot large part of my life interacting with people who are just like they just don't care. So I yeah. I know I, I you, someone I've got that, to. And I've been in that space yeah. where I don't care, but I don't care. Shit, not realistic to me. Like I gotta care about this shit. I gotta be you critical can, of myself. You can, I gotta you be can. critical about these situations. I feel like I'm gonna say this, bro, and I don't know when this will happen for you, but I believe from this very small conversation, your life gonna get increasingly better. The the uh the more you care, less. You know what I mean? Because it's not to say, like, I'm being, um, I'm not being, like, uh, an adult with my life. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm taking the back seat now. You know what I mean? But, mm-hmm. like, there is, a, there, is a, there is a method to being, like, there's a method to have everything done while also giving you, allowing yourself to be open and receptive. Yeah. There's a method to it because people do it. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I get it. Like, you're the type, because, like, you're the type of person, bro. You remind me of like Morpheus or some shit. You know what I mean? Which is like, that's a dope nigga to be. You know what I mean? That's a dope nigga to be. But it's like, you have to get into a place of development or you, you will, I'm sure one day, you know what I mean? Where it's like, I can, I, I don't want to compromise on being Morpheus while also opening up and being like, just just more open. You know what I mean? More receptive to things. You know what I mean? It's like, you definitely are hard on you. Like, it doesn't come off as depression. You know what I mean? Like, like he said, not to uh, discount what you've been through because it's like that's how you got here and we are grateful to have you here, you know what I mean, for the decisions that you made and we thank you for that, you know what I mean? But it's like you got to – it's time to get a software upgrade for sure, you know what I mean? It's like you got to upgrade the software, you know what I mean? Because like what survival things that you used to use don't necessarily uh, serve you as you continue to move into spaces. They just don't, you know what I mean? Certain shit you just got to let go. You just got to let go. And it's, and sometimes it's not apparent to you, but that's how life works. Like when I moved into my apartment, um, because I had never had an apartment before and I hadn't had a room before, um, where I live at in the Bronx right now, like I would be in my room for like the first six months. You know what I mean? I would be in my room and just 
never take my shoes off. And, and it never even dawned on me that I was doing that shit until somebody pointed out, like, why you still got your shoes on in your crib? We've been here for hours type shit. Because mm. I ain't really fully transitioned into, I'm just saying, like, things that you kind of have to break. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'd be like, keeping ketchup packets and shit and put it in a little corner or whatever like that. It was like, nigga, like, you can just throw that shit away and buy a thing of oh, ketchup, man, put it yeah. in the refrigerator, you know yeah. what I mean? But it's like- First of all, thank you. Ketchup belongs in the refrigerator. Yes, it does yeah. to me. Thank you. <laughs> thank after you. opening, I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. Because I be going to, I be going to Boy Crib and he got the ketchup like in the cupboard. I'm like, how? It yeah, says yeah, yeah, keep yeah, refrigerator yeah, yeah. on the bottle. <laughs> It still be good though, I ain't gonna lie. It do but, still be good though. I mean, good, yeah, but, but the label though. The yeah. thing is, I agree. Because the thing is, you storing <laughs> ketchup packets. All right, because we all, everybody like, got, wow. you know, a sauce drawer or whatever. Like, wow. yeah. So you got the drawer with ketchup packets, but those are all sealed and you're not right. constantly opening yeah. back. I'm That's why those are warm. Out. Mm -hmm. That's why those are warm. Mm -hmm. Ketchup, like an actual Heinz ketchup shit or whatever brand you use, yeah, that shit a, belongs in the fridge. Yeah, y'all had organic ketchup. Well, organic yeah, ketchup. that I shit kind of fire. Yeah, it's fire. That shit fire. But yeah, my, my fault for like that. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's that was really it. But I'm just saying, like, you know, we we found ourselves into getting into patterns we got to break out of. That was one of mine. It's also a, a a huge slew of other ones. You know what I mean? But. Like I said, most important thing is, long as you having fun, my boy, you know what I'm saying? Long yeah. as you and Shorty, y'all in a good place where y'all having fun. Yeah, bro. The other can shit, me, that's can, life. That'll come. Can me, you know I'm, I mean? there, you go, there you go, nigga. That'll come. There you go. Because he got to do him. I mean, yeah, for sure. But like, bro, like, you had a point where I get it, you're getting older, so things like, you, you, you got to crack down on things, you know what I'm saying? Because we have these milestones each, like, five years and shit. I get it. Right. For real, for real. I got some milestones. I'm 25, and I think I got to get to some shit by I'm 30. Right. But like... I'm closer to 30 than you are. Oh, and, 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 no, but this, that's the thing, bro. You guys understand, like, I've had this conversation with my older sister when I was like, she's way older than, the, she's not way older, but like, she's eight years older than me. Mm -hmm. So when she turned 30, I was like, what, eight years younger than her? I'm what, 22? Word. So I'm thinking from a different mind frame, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, girl, you got time and shit. I understand, because I've heard this before, like, I got to get to life. I get it. My nigga, life is hard. We got to take it in stride. And we young as shit. And we young as shit. Yeah. Don't think, don't think 30s old, bro. You 30s where people finally figured it out. We know this. Yeah. For men, men don't hit their stride in life until like 30s and really into the 40s. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you really become a man for real. Come on, bro. Like you remember you 29. That just turned 28 today. You just turned 28 today. But you remember when you was 25, you remember that shit was different. Hell yeah. That shit was different, bro. Mm -hmm. 25 was different than 28, bro. That shit was different. Three bro. years, my nigga. That shit you was look, different. I'm three years younger than you, bro. That shit was different, bro. So you already know, like, the older you getting, you just getting littered with this, uh, with doing you. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you're having fun, bro. You got it, though. Because he being responsible, if nothing else. No, and I'm like, yeah. well, shit. I feel that's him. More than I can but say like, being, being responsible, as soon as you still got to give yourself some grace, some, some a pat on the back. No, for like, sure, for yeah. sure. Chill, bro. Like, I'm trying to be careful with shit, because it's just like, yeah, you preventative. It's most, very, it's most very great easy to fall. Into, <laughs> it's very, very easily. It's very easy to fall into bad habits and just bad practices and not notice it. For sure, especially sure. with women. So yeah. I don't fault. I don't fault you for that. Most most great men are preventative. Great men prevent shit because they see shit coming. Regular niggas yeah. react to shit. That's just how mm. it go. One thing. Um, I quote that. One thing with her is just like <laughs> the voice. she's she's caring and generous. I'm a generous person as well. Like you mentioned earlier, you know, when you're nice, people try to take, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, all the time. So when she tried to do nice shit for me, I kind of remind her sometimes, like, yo, in the world and like in the relationships that you have, mm -hmm. you got to learn how to say no. You got to put yourself first sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's a conversation we had many times. And then when it comes to me, it's just like, I'm not used to getting shit. You know what and I mean? Let her do her job, bro. It's, it's shit tough. Let her do her job because she's thing, a woman. That's, that's what she's supposed not, to do. That's the thing. It's not her job. It is, and that's bro. why I be feeling like it's it not is. your job. If it, no, it's it not. Is, it's bro. not necessarily her job, but it is. Technically. It's what she wants to do. If yeah. she like and, you, and, nigga, and that's let, her job. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Let her do that. Let her like. Let her take care of you. What really? What it really? It's, it's, it's super foreign. It's super foreign, bro. And you, I, I you, can't, can't, you got nigga, time. You got yo. You can't control <laughs> You can't. Yeah, I'm. Just, you can't control that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember what we talked about on the train, bro. Like no matter. Remember what you said. Something slipped, and it. It rolled that way, right? Right, right? You can't, and it wasn't even you. Well, it was, it was you, but the other one wasn't you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't control that. That's something you can't control. All you really can do is contain, is do the best damage control. 
Being preventative, for sure. That means not saying certain shit, not moving a certain way, making sure how you come off as straight as possible so she know where you at, she know where your your head is at, and that's that's what you're responsible for. And like, take care 100. Of you. If, she, if she still feeling you, she fall more deeper in with you, all that, just with what you said, that... What we'll say, you that nigga, you him, him Duncan, you that guy Bro. to her. You know what I'm saying? And also surprise some other woman. But at the end of the day, that's not your don't feel responsible for somebody who's choosing Boom. to do that. Boom. When you told her what it was. Boom. That's it. And let her do her no, job. No, no, no. Ain't, 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 ain't no. Real. Yo, bro. <laughs> and let her do her job. I'm, my not, I'm not trying to discredit nothing y'all saying. I know you're not, but I you trying to find another nigga. way. I'm spitting on the mic. You trying to find another way. I'm not trying to find another way. Now I'm trying to, like I said before, create critical thought, space critical thought for, for our viewers. Now, boom. Okay. Like I, said before, oh, to I told you he was Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making Lawrence Fishburne in real life. You're on a different level, bro. I was just trying to have a conversation. Old dude, I'm in spaces bro. with a lot. Of, I'm in spaces with a lot of women because I have a lot of women friends. You should go back. So you know, kind of got on the inside tip of certain things. You hear them talk about certain things. You're talking about situations with men. It's just, it gets certain shit kind of stick. So now I'm kind of conscious of my behavior and what I'm doing in certain situations because now I'm just like, all right, cool. I want to make sure I don't come off as this or this seems very familiar. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not yeah. going down that route. I'm not For taking sure. that road. Mm -hmm. For sure. So it's, it's things like that. Yeah, but... Well, we got something to say. I feel like I've been... Yo, bro, at the end of the day, though, right? And see, she's a woman. You can ask her. You got a woman right here, bro. Like, at the I'm end of the day, I, you... Like, I you owe myself and I owe everyone a responsibility. No, of, what you... Because well, I, I know better. Okay, I hear you. It's but really guess what I you, know But better. guess what? Guess what you really... You only owe yourself. So let's... And this is what I mean by that. You said you owe yourself to be better, right? So if that's the case, you're gonna be better. Being better starts within. Like Lauren Hill said, how you gonna win if you ain't right within? So that means you by you being Lauren Hill. He did that. Yeah. You know she don't write she didn't write majority of her shit. Like she's dead. Regardless, I mean credits. either way, girl, like at the same time, the quote still applies. Cause at the end of the day, you fix yourself inside, that's gonna come out and express to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you working on yourself will show itself and display itself on the outside to who you talk to. So inherently, as much as you wanna like have the not you wanna have that responsibility to others, you already are about working on yourself. So that extra weight you got going on, that extra responsibility, you ain't gotta worry about that because that shit just gonna happen because you trying to work on yourself. You know that. You're your first priority. You know that. You that's that's done. You know what I'm saying? Like so after that point, how you come off to her yeah, you might not want to say some shit. I damn, I let that slip. Oh, damn, I should never say. Bro, we're still. I, I, this is my favorite thing to say about people. Everyone, we're all children. I don't care what age you are. I don't care how old you are, because there's there's something that you didn't experience yet, and you're a child to that. Mm. You're innocent to that. You know what I'm saying? Like you walked into that not knowing because you didn't have that experience. So at the end of the day, bro, like. You know from having woman friends, your own experiences, your homies, X, Y, Z things. But you know those from those accounts. The other accounts that you don't know about. And you will learn from those in time with dealing with shit like that, bro. But at the end of the day, right now, have fun, be straight up with her, be cool, and let that shit fly. You can't control everything, dog. And I know you want to because you want to be as you want to give as many preventative measures to make sure you probably don't lose to someone that really care about you and you care about them. Understandable. But at the end of the day, bro, you got to give... One thing about dealing with people that I had to learn, you got to let them make their own decisions. You got to let them make their own decisions and you have to learn, let them make their own, their own mistakes. And we, just said, we said it on the way here, like, you're always a villain in somebody's story. Mm-hmm. As much as you try to be the hero, as much as you try to not be the villain, you're somebody because someone you have to someone has to be the villain because as much as it's their fault, your own fault, or their own fault in their story, there's somebody that was a part of that. There's something that allowed them to do X Y Z things. It happens, bro. And like at the end of the day, for me, like in that regard, we're talking about dealing with a woman. Real relationships overall don't die. You may take some time away from it. Hell yeah, two, three years, however long. But that shit's still there. 
But y'all gotta work on each work on yourselves type shit. So she probably got some shit she gotta work on. There's some shit you gotta work on. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, bro, like, give yourself some grace to understand that, like, you're better than the man you was yesterday. For real. And that's enough. Not, and that should be enough, bro. Coming from a nigga that didn't like himself the majority of his life, like, you have to, bro. You have to look at that future man that you, you working on, that man you working on right now that's there in the future. You got to look at that nigga and be like, we we getting there. You got to trust that feeling. And it will it shows up, bro. I've known you for five, seven as long as I've known Dom. And there's been a grammatic, oh, it's a grammatic bugging, a drastic change as to who he was when I met you. And remember when I told you you posted that Snapchat and I was like, oh, you wild nigga. <laughs> yeah, you remember that moment, right? You remember that moment, right? To the moment now. You gotta give yourself some grace, bro. Like, I ain't a lot. I'm heavy on that shit, bro. Cause like, you deserve it, bro. Life ain't easy. Figuring yourself out ain't easy. Figuring yourself, what you want to do in life ain't easy. Figuring out who's going to be in your life ain't easy. Because we think someone who's right here is going to be there tomorrow. We don't know. Man, there was this, this people that I was like, yo, this person going to be in my life for years. And people, and people, how you like, oh, that, that nigga not here. I ain't talked to you in about five months. I ain't talked to you in about 12 months. But then there's some people that you thought you would never speak to again that pull up. And they got a whole different um, perspective. And that kind of perspective, y'all probably reach that just at different places. Bro, you got to give yourself some grace, bro. Mm-hmm. Real, for real. I ain't I be trying. I know you trying, but at like, the end of the day, bro, like, because... crazy part is if you ask people, they'll tell you I say that shit to people all the time. You, But we know you you can't take your own advice. We know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know that, bro. <laughs> 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 but at the end of the day, like... You said, what, what do you say? Coach is coach. Is coach. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Coach is coach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, bro, like, you're a, good, you're a better man for thinking these things, obviously. You know what I'm saying? For wanting to take the measures, you know? Being safe about it, being careful with your wording, what you do, how you move, that's all part of it. You know what I'm saying? That's all part of it. Because like Wolf said, niggas just be reacting to shit. Mm-hmm. And that's, that, I got to quote that shit. I got, I, I forgot the first half. But for real, bro. I got a quote for you. And this is, I'm butchering this shit. So it's, I'm, it's basically like a summary of it. Um... For evil to go unchecked, all it takes is for a good man to do nothing. So you're saying I'm a better man for thinking these things and whatever, whatever. But without action, it's really empty. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But 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 you're but you're not doing anything. Though. You're not not doing anything. You're doing something. I know you are. We I, I ain't gonna lie to you. We wouldn't be friends if you. Were. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it stacked with you, bro. I have no I have no real motive to. This sounds fucked up, but not really, because I'm at a place where I've dealt with so much of my own bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I got patience with people for sure. But like, if you continuously throw yourself in bullshit and like be complaining about it, that's your own doing. Mm-hmm. That's your own undoing, like for real, for real. So I don't got time for that. Like, I'm going to tell you two, three times after that, we still homies, but like, I'm not even going to like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like, I feel like, at 25, I'm too old for bullshit. And I'm only 25. So there's other bullshit I got to get to. But <laughs> the bullshit I've already experienced, I'm good off that. And if you're doing that and you're older than me, I would have to tell you, my nigga, you tripping. But you're not tripping right now. You haven't, there's all the stories we've told each other in the past, since the year started, you haven't told me anything where I'm like, nah, you wild. You wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. I mean, we joke, you'd be like, yo, you wild. But we don't be like, it's never like we got to sit down and have a talk with you. Yeah. You good, bro. Like, good, bro. you doing all right. You're where, you're where you have to be at the time you need to be at the place you need to be at right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You'll get there. We will all the get unknown there. unknown is real attractive. The unknown is real attractive, but the unknown is real fucking scary. Yeah. And that's the thing. There's a book. Um, it's a philosophy book, book that I read, like, the problem with people is the fact that we live too much either in the future or too much in the past. And one thing my cousin's boyfriend told me, and stick with it, because you know, he a real calm nigga. Like, and I mean calm like as in like he just nature-wise. The only thing you can do is be here right now. What you react to, what you cause, what you say. So be in control of what you can right now. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's the best thing you do for yourself because it doesn't cause you anxiety of thinking of the future and it doesn't call you and cause you sadness when you think of the past. Or like, damn, like I really did that shit. Nah, bro. Be where you are right now and be present in terms of at peace with it. Be content. Be satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Look back and be like, in our, in our favorite quotes, the past is a place of reference, not residence. You know what I'm saying? Be also happy with the fact that I get to decide who I'm going to be tomorrow. Mm-hmm. For real. Um, Today's the yes, uh, the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. I, forgot, I think Dom told I me that. I said that. Or someone I think, did. No, I think that was yesterday, wasn't it? Yesterday? I don't, I don't know. know. I think Dom said it's We going to start putting shit on like, t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bags bags. Like, but bro, like, I don't know how to do shit, bro. And like, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's because cause I feel like it's because your birthdays came. And I feel like because I feel this way around my birthday, like that birthday blues shit. Where I'm thinking about all the shit, bro. Take it easy on yourself, dog. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of shit hit me today. A lot of shit. Yeah. It it happens on your the birthday. First, the first thing does. that I had planned for today, a lady literally said like, "I didn't mean to disappoint you on your birthday," and I'm just like, "Damn." See, I didn't. Why would you say that? Yeah. Now I'm disappointed. Right? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Take it back. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I, I was good till she said that. Like I was at peace with the situation till she said that. Yo, tell who said that? Uh, lady in patient accounts. What? Mm. I kick her chair. Nah, she you got nice. her address, she really, right? Really nice. You got her address? No, she was really nice. She was really sweet. Oh, she knew she, she was sweet. She would never said that himself. She didn't, I don't think she thought like I was going to feel away by, by saying <laughs> nah, that. Nah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Listen, bro, like just give yourself some grace, dog. You deserve it. Yeah. Take it sure, easy. Bro. You 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 ju- you just turned 28. You got more than enough time to figure it out. But I, we could also say you're already 28. You just turned 28. <laughs> You know what I mean? But that's 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 all I got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For me to you, anyway, at least right right now. Like, today's the youngest you'll ever be again. Mm. And also today's the stupidest you'll ever be again. Ooh. Mm. Right, y'all losing me. <laughs> y'all just <laughs> now, 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 like now you just throwing shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But y'all got anything else to say for real? You know what I mean. Mm-mm. What did Bob Barker used to say? Um, <laughs> get your pets neutered. I'm fucking weak. I, I, remember the old, the old white dude from oh, uh, Prices, yeah. right? I remember Bob Barker. <laughs> First off, let me tell you something. I'm not getting my son neutered. I, I don't know. He might have to because he can't be helping. Well, he said he's son. He's talking about his cat. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, guys, guys. just for the reference. Yo, I, I, yeah, I heard, that's kind of crazy. I heard, yo, it's crazy. <laughs> I heard a teen event. I'm like, what? <laughs> neutered? <laughs> nah, I ain't going to do that. But, um, you know, man, listen, man. This is the Open Exchange Podcast where we talk about everything and anything and also like real life shit you know what i'm saying like even now we didn't think the second half of this episode was gonna take this not even a turn but this development you know what i mean but like find the time find the people find the time to write it out talk about it shit how you express yourself because we really do be dealing with the same shit you know what i'm saying the existentialism you know what i mean but we're gonna figure it out bro so you can highlight us in our dms my name is nate booby Likes. Let me catch you on our next episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Share, subscribe, comment. You know the works. Yes, sir. Peace. Woo.